do am I live? Going live! I am live! Hello! Hello, hello, hello. Is it me you're looking for? Um Am I there? Do I have everything sorted? Video game is on. Chat is top chat. I don't want top chat. I want live chat, you madman. Uh, live chat. That's on. Back to the Elden Ring. Hello. I think I'm live. Let me know if I am live. Let me know if I have sound. Can you hear that? I'm going to kick back and play some video game. Today, I'm going to explore this big spooky castle. Very excited to explore the big spooky castle. Jambo says, yes, you are live. Limitless says, hey, dude, awesome to see you streaming live, mate. Hope you're well. I'm very, very well. Ultimate, Games Venom, uh, Ultimate Venom Games says, wood. Benjo is live. Wood. Just a nice, sturdy piece of wood. Um, thank you for joining. Limitless, looking and sounding good. Thanks very much, bro. I never know if the game sound's coming through. I always worry about the game sound. Because I've had a few streams where, like, I go live and the, there's just no game sound or it's super quiet. Such a pain in the ass. Um, but if it's sounding good, then I will proceed. Um, I've been playing this way more than uh, where I left it yesterday. So if you hung around with me yesterday and watched me play, um, at the point I left it, I, I hadn't really done like all of this. And uh, I've now done basically everything. Like I've killed the dragon. Um, I cleared the first like actual boss who was here. I've basically done every boss in this area that I can find. Killed a boss down here that gave me a really cool sword. I think I did that on stream. And today, my intention is to come over here to find a map fragment. Uh, to come down here to find a map fragment. And to explore this castle. That's kind of what I want to do today. It's kind of what I'm feeling. It's kind of what I'm feeling. Uh, what we got here? Raptor Claw 85. Game is so much easier with a friend. I actually jumped in with a friend last night. And we did a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of co-op. And um, it, I, he died so quickly. We didn't really get to uh, feel if it was any easier or not. But um, yeah. They, the games typically are easy with friends. Which is why... FromSoft don't let you play the whole thing co-op like you you despawn when you beat a boss because I think if you could just bring friends in and play the whole thing you would just smash through it but I'm not having a huge amount of trouble with this game in general yet um, this has felt a little easier than the other Souls games um, mainly because I'm just coming up against like mini bosses and they're not too tough uh, Adam Pierce, oh my god, that's what you would look like with your eye <laughs> with your eyes covered. Yeah, I have eyes under that VR headset. That's what lets me play the video games. Uh, I don't know if I if on stream yesterday I had this sword. So this sword is absolutely insane. Um, I got this for killing a boss here in this little circle. Um, but the good thing about this sword is it does bleeding damage. So if you get enough consecutive hits on an enemy, all of a sudden they just bleed out and a huge chunk of their health goes. Um, which is amazing for bosses. So, so amazing for bosses. Oh my god. Todd, is it Longo? Proceed, sir. I will proceed. I will proceed with my adventuring. Oh shit, you are pretty far. What class is that? Uh, this is, I started with Vagabond. Is it Vagabond or Vagrant? I always forget. I I'm not too far. This is still just the starting area, so it's the first piece of map that you get. And I've, I say I've only beaten one actual boss, which it was um, Margit. I beat Margit here. Um, and I used the item that Patches sells down here. Spoiler alert, Patches is in, the, is in this game. Because of course he is. Um, and yeah, the castle's my next stop, and that's like, I have to go through there. But I've come out, because I want to find out what's over here. Uh, Limitless been playing a lot of Mortal Shell recently. Mortal Shell is a a great game, and uh, I'll hear nothing else of it. I, I thought I thought it was quite easy. Um, Mortal Shell, it, 
once you realise in that game that you can basically defeat anyone with a jumping heavy attack, you can kind of just cheese everything. But it had some great bosses and some great level design, so I really rated Morsha. Harachai, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Todd Longo, no you didn't. What well, didn't have this sword. Cool. Lauren Valdez, Vun, FYI. I don't, I don't know what that means, but I believe in everything you're saying, and I think it's wonderful. Tender Branson, oh well, finally catching my fave YouTuber streaming. How nice. That's so sweet. Thank you so much, man. I don't stream a lot. Um, ah! Because... I work full time as well as doing the YouTube stuff, so it's really hard to plan streams in as well as recording content um, and staying on top of everything. Um, but I was supposed to be in Poland this weekend and the trip's been cancelled, so I have an opportunity to just do some streams and make some content. Oh, who's this? Hello? All right. Okay. Okay, all right. That just hurt his horse, but not him. No! Paradise Decay did a two pound donation. Paradise Decay, that is the very first donation I've ever had on this channel. I've had it for three years. <laughs> Who would have thought it would be you oh, to do that? Thanks so much, mate. You don't need to do that, that's crazy. Come on, come on. Right, I wasn't prepared for this fight immediately. But we're here now. Apologies if I don't talk to chat for just a moment while I kill this ring wraith. Nope. Nope. Okay, if we can kill the horse. Oh. Oh. Yeah, kill the horse. I don't. Oh, I want to have to, but I. Aye. <laughs> All right, all right. Composure. Composure! Sugar. Oh. I'm burning through heels. This is not good. He's only been touched like once as well. Oh! Something tells me it's not going to be any easier oh, once the horse is dead. Also, you'll see I've gone full-blown actual content creator today, and I've got my green screen on, so you can see more of the game. Anyone would think I was some kind of professional at this point. It's ridiculous. <gasps> Get off that bloody horse! There we go, there we go, there we go. Now mess him up. Mess him up. What's that? Don't get a new horse. That's not fair. <laughs> what the? No bed. Ridiculous. Son of a gun. Okay, he's kind of tough. He's kind of tough, but he's kind of fun. Who's this donating $5? Thank you so much. Ben Baz. Another Ben. Harujai, three pounds. Stop donating money. It's crazy. It's, I'm not used to this. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird. Thank you so much. You honestly don't have to. I'm sorry if I've missed any. They're like flying up there. Um, that's so sweet. John Egbert, love the setup, Benjo. Thanks so much. Um... I I set up earlier to film some cyberpunk because um, I was checking it out in VR. <laughs> I did die. We can pretend I didn't. We can pretend I didn't. Um, yeah, so I was setting up earlier, checking out some cyberpunk in VR, and I thought, oh, I'll leave it because it will work quite well for the stream. And, um, yeah, just setting up and looking at it on OBS, I was like, oh, it looks so much nicer. So much nicer with the, with the green screen. So... I'm going to try and use it a lot more. I think it really increases the quality of a video. Honestly, thanks so much for the donations. That's really sweet. 
really, really sweet. Uh, limitless, zero deaths, was it? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a warm-up death. Everyone, everyone gets one. Everyone gets one. A freebie. Stop. Stop it. Ah! Ooh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, stop. Just get off that horse. Holy moly. Okay. Fifteen dollars. <laughs> Tender Branson. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. All you're really doing is enforcing bad lifestyle choices. Because I'm at home alone this weekend. My wife's in Scotland. I'm just going to be ordering takeaways. So, if anything, your kindness will probably kill me. Let's just, let's just say that. I've been, I've been craving southern fried chicken today. So, you know, <laughs> I'm probably going to be getting some chicken. Probably not today, though. It's a bit late now. Honestly, thank you so much. That's so nice. Right. Stop it. Okay. Crowd control. So, here's the plan. Head into where that marker is at the moment. We're going to go into the... F there's like a forest down there with some bears and things. And I know there's another map fragment down there. I'm going to get the map fragment, have a look bit, look around, and then get the hell out. <laughs> Wrestle! No! <laughs> Stop! Stop this! Stop this right now, you madman. Thank you so much. <laughs> Stop! Please, people! Stop, Stop this! Use your money to purchase your own Mars bars and Snickers bars and nice things. Honestly, Jesse Harding, thank you so much. It was so kind. Too kind. Too kind, all of you. Um, I think someone just asked a question about uh, the Luke Ross one. Buy her some flowers. She's going to see that if she's watching, and then she's going to know that that £5 is specifically for flowers, and then I can't get out of it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Um, someone asked a question about the Luke Ross mod, and it's gone. I can't see it. I need to somehow minimise this chat so I can see more of it for a longer period of time. Whoever it was that dropped the Luke Ross question, just chuck, chuck it back in. I will keep my eyeballs peeled and I'll pick it up when it comes back around. I've played with it for about two hours now. Oh, he's got yellow eyes. He needs to die. There we go. Okay. The ones with yellow eyes. Man's going to be feasting on some chickens. Hello, Alex Durham. I am actually going to be feasting on so many chickens. It's ridiculous. Might get a Taco Bell. Who knows? It won't be healthy. Whatever it is, it won't be healthy. But man's got to eat. And I say, I'm home alone all weekend. I do have a bag of potatoes that needs eating, though. And we have got an air fryer. So maybe I'll just make loads of chips. Uh, person, person. How does Luke Ross Cyberpunk mod compare to the free Vorpex mod with gesture motion controls? Um... I actually caught wind of the gesture motion control Vorpex Cyberpunk standalone mod after I upgrade uploaded my Cyberpunk video. So I haven't had a chance to go hands on with it just yet. Um, but it, it it looks strange and it looks kind of promising. I would put money I'd put money on it that Paradise Decay will have a video up tomorrow <laughs> would be my bet on that one um, I really want to check it out I think the motion controls are not like fully implemented, they're more gestures um, but you can aim with the controllers and that's pretty impressive, I didn't think you could but after watching the video it's, it's clear that you can but I think you'll still see your controllers in front of you, so I, I don't yeah, I don't know how it's going to feel but I'm excited to check it out uh, Ted Striker 2000 just had scampi I love scampi so much. Scampi is delicious. I haven't had it in a long time. It was always my go-to pub meal. John Egbert, I want to make 3D art for your channel. A donation as well. Thank you so much. 3D art. What? Whoa. Uh, 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 what kind of 3D art? What do you mean? What kind of stuff are you thinking? I actually feel like recently, I've been feeling, I've been feeling like trying to find someone to commission to make a new intro for me. So I want to keep the same music. But I want the intro to just look a bit nicer. Same length, like eight seconds long, but like a maybe like just a 3D thing, face spinning round. 
stuff. I don't know. I just think it needs like modernizing. So, yeah, I don't know. Thanks so much for the donation. So sweet. Uh, which would you recommend? Well, I've only gone hands-on with the... Um, I've only gone hands-on with Luke Ross's mod so far, so I can't really make a full-on recommendation yet. Once I've played the Vorpex one. Oh, Swedish tenor! That's so cool. Thanks so much, Barry Shaw. I was like, what is sec? And, and that's 100. That was scared me for a minute. I was like, that's far too much money. Uh, thank you so much. That's really sweet. Love when I fell down the mine shaft yesterday. I didn't love that. I hated that. That was the worst thing that's ever happened to anybody. <laughs> ever. But at least it happened on stream, so we could laugh together. Um, yeah, I th I'm, I'm excited to try out the Vorpex mod. But at this point, I, I can only speak for the uh, Luke Cross one, which I really like. It's very intensive. I feel like my PC is starting to get old. I need a new one. Um, because it was a struggle to capture that. Um, a real struggle to capture it. Uh, with a consistent frame rate. Maybe your intro head image. Hell yeah. Can't change the music. I've commissioned my child to create me a channel logo. Really cheap. No way. Hello, Mr. Death. Wish. I see you lurking there. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming by. And that's really sweet. If your kids made uh, your channel logo. There's something like really homely about that. I like it a lot. Okay, map fragment. I think that's it there. I think because they sit in front of these like little pedestals. I could follow this path around, but that just seems a bit mad. I may as well just skip across the path, right? Just go straight forward. Let's do it. Maybe your head, your intro head image. Yeah, like I'd like that kind of like in 3D, but like, I don't know, like, I have a vision in my head of an intro where that, that head's like kind of 3D and it's like coming out in time with the music and there's stuff happening. Yeah, because... I don't want the intro to be any longer, because I think an intro that, that lasts more than, like, ten seconds just isn't good. But... Oh. Bears. Clark Garbutt, could you do me a massive favour and say hello to my daughter called Hannah? She's seven and loves watching your videos. Hello, Hannah. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Um, I will try to be good and not swear, because swearing's bad, and I do it a lot. And I should... <laughs> I should swear less. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Take that bear. No! Okay, this baby bear seems okay, but that mama bear in the background looks... <laughs> they look they look kind of angry. Oh. Okay. Right, baby bear. Baby bear's dead. Mama, mama bear coming! <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh, stay under the bum. Stay under the bum. That's it! No! No! Cheese them. Cheese them, cripes. Is that something people say when they, they want to swear but don't, don't also want to swear? Ah, stop. Oh, this game gives me the sweats. It gives me the meat sweats. Okay. Now nah, this is a, this is fine. This is fine. This is a fine situation. Ah! Oh. This is a fine situation. So find yourself in. scared there. Gold tinged excrement. Ah, golden poop. I love a bit of golden poop. Very nice. Okay, that was good. That was a good little fight there. Um, Jambo, are you a celebrity now? I think now, officially, yes. I think it's happened. I think once you... That bear's alive. Once you say hello to someone on a live stream, you're officially a celebrity. I'll be getting stopped in McDonald's. It'd be crazy. 
killed one bear today. We may as well kill another one. Why? Why give up on a good thing, eh? Oh, bugger, that did not go to plan. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Drink your drink. Drink your Fanta. That's it. That's it. Canonically speaking, it is actually Fanta. Oh. didn't get hit just then. This one seems way angrier. This one's got a problem with me. I'm not entirely sure why. Come on. Oh, holy mackerel. Through the legs. On now. These better be giving me loads of runes. I want to say souls, but I'm trying to be accurate. Through the legs. I bid good day to you, sir. I bid good day to you. Oh. I tend to watch your videos before she does for that re for those reasons. <laughs> That's a very clever thing to do. Um, I respect it. You know, I when I first started the channel like three years ago, I had absolutely no filter. So if you go back and watch like my first, my very first videos, oh, the, no filter. I was just flinging swear words left and right, and then I made like such a conscious effort to rein it in. Um, not for any, like, not because I thought, oh, YouTube might shut me down, or for, like, any demonetization reasons or anything like that. Just purely because it's just accessibility, because I know some people don't like it. And I know, recently, I realized I say, um, I'm going to say it now to make a point, but I realized that I default to Jesus Christ quite a lot. Um, and someone actually commented recently and said, oh, do you think you could rein that in? Because it, it's considered blaspheming, even though I'm atheist. It's such a minefield, but I do try. I do try to make a conscious effort to be as um, accommodating as possible. Uh, Davy, baby, I don't get it. Do you have to hit a part of the bear's body? No, no, you can you can hit them straight in the head. But like with most Dark Souls enemies, you want to just get behind them, get behind their bum, behind their legs, because most of their attacks are forward facing. So if you're behind them, you're not going to get caught in the the sweeps of its attacks. I could just attack it from the front and hit it in the head, but it will just be smacking me and smacking me, and it will wear down my stamina bar. Uh, that bear must work out. These bears do... Look at the size of them. I, whatever they're eating, I want it. I want some. I want to be that hench. Do Elden bears poo in the woods? They have to. There's nowhere else for them to go. Right, now we're cooking with gas. We have a brand new chunk of map. <sighs> Any interesting things here? That looks cool, doesn't it? Let's put a marker there. Let's go find out what's there. Um, what's that? That looks kind of spooky. Or it's, maybe it's just like a little lake. And what's this? Let's check this out first. <laughs> another day, another stream. How's it going, Benjo? Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Goodwin Gamecats PSVR. Uh, it's going good. I am having a very relaxing weekend. Just playing video games until my fingers can't play any more video games. And I thought, hey, why not do another stream? Bears, am I right? Bears! No need for this aggression! That bear just killed a squirrel. Now I have to... Now I have to defend the squirrel's honor. God, these guys are horrible. They're very, like, doable. Like, you can beat them. They're just so aggressive. I could sack off the shield and just two-hand the sword, maybe, and get through them a bit quicker. But, but I am holding. I am holding block for instances like that. Oh, nope, dude, you need to heal right now. Ah. 
This bear was one bear too far. I should have stopped at three bears. Oh! 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 <laughs> Run. <laughs> Run away! Ah! Guys, I think I think I might die. I didn't die, but I feel like I really should have died just then. Oh, Barry Shaw, you'll never please everyone, just do you, bruv. Yeah, that's that's kind of my thing. Like, I'm not trying to change my personality. Um, I'll always just be me, because it's the only thing I know how to do. But at the same time, I do want to create something that's accessible and that doesn't... Um, that doesn't, doesn't kind of ruffle people's feathers too much. I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in being like... If it's something I can avoid while still making content that's true to me, then I may as well make an attempt. Come on. Ugh. Horror games, though. I can't. I can't do it. I, I just have to swear because I just get caught in the moment and I'm like... It just flies out my mouth. Uh, da, da, da. Space Denizen. What up? Hello, Space Denizen. Thank you for joining. Molly, lolly, golly, gosh. Not sure who you are, but thanks for coming. Really appreciate it. First time viewer, I assume. Um... Paradise Decay, you're going to flip when you meet Goldilocks. I'm going to destroy Goldilocks. Uh, <laughs> Alex Durham clutch. Yeah, that was a little bit clutch. It was a little bit too close for comfort. Um, I don't quite know how I feel about it. MK, what's up, man? Hello, MK. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> but bear tality. That was a full-blown bear tality. I loved it. Okay, where's this thing that I wanted to go to? It's this way. Three. Let's find out what this little circle is. Just an FYI, I am absolutely <laughs> loving this game. This is like my favourite Souls game already. I've spent 10 hours so far just in the first area. Just in this bit, doing mini bosses and exploring caves. Like, it's overwhelmingly big. And I love that about it. It's amazing. Molly, <laughs> you look like my husband. I do. I look a bit like him. But I've heard he's more handsome and more funny, to be honest. So, stick with him. You're doing all right. Uh, <laughs> Clark Garber, I understand with the horror games, mate. Yeah, the, the swears in a horror game is completely involuntary. It just, it just, I have no control over those situations. It just comes out. But I try to stop the, you know, the really... The... the... Oh... Well, this is where we're going. Uh, I try to stop the really bad swear words from ever coming out. Uh, Devin Robert Triantos, dig your stream. Peace out. Thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for the kind words. Uh, MK, I am new. Do you play GTA 5? I, I dabble with GTA 5. It's not something I play, like, religiously. Um, I've played it in VR a few times on the channel. Where am I going on this elevator, by the way? This is like... This is quite the descent. Uh, yeah, I've played the the VR mod. Uh, Loot Cross VR mod a few times on the channel. I've got a couple of videos about it. Um, I love the game. I've played it to death. But I think I'm ready for a new one. You know, I think I'm ready for GTA 6. I'm ready for something new from Rockstar. I really want a PC remaster and port of the original Red Dead. Along with Undead Nightmare. And I want GTA 6. That's what I want. Um, well, I'm down here now, so... Should I be here? Under the map? Not entirely sure. Uh, stuck at work, dreaming of Elden Ring. Uh, Space Denizen, how far... <laughs> how far are you into, uh, into Elden Ring? Have you put many hours in... Are you enjoying it? I'm sure you are. I, I don't think I've, I haven't spoken to anybody who's not enjoying it. Oh, I can rest now, can't I? I can get some heals back. Going down, down. <laughs> Again. 
What is it with this game and Fallout Boy? They're deeply connected. This looks amazing down here. Melted mushroom. I might get some frame rate drops because this is an area I've not been to before. And the PC version is... It's not, you know... It's not in the best place at the moment. It's certainly playable. But uh, definitely needs some support from FromSoft. Yeah, I like Red Dead Redemption and GTA 5 only. What, as in only? As in the only games you like or the only bits that um, Rockstar have made? Because obviously they've done like Bully and stuff as well and Table Tennis and Midnight Club. Um, Red Dead and GTA are obviously their, their best games. By far. Engaged in jolly cooperation with some buds. Yeah, I um, I just I tried to play some co-op last night. It's dark in here. Tried to play some co-op last night. Um, when we we basically just made, we didn't make any leeway. Um, my friend that I summoned in died almost immediately. Uh, when we went up against the, oh, I put it in the wrong hand. Uh, the tree boss, the guy on the horse. Tree sentinel. There we go. Let's get some light. How many hours are you into the game? Enjoying the content as always. Happy to hear you're enjoying the game as much as me. Stefan Hansen, I am about... I think I've just crossed 10 hours. Um, just gone past the 10-hour mark. I've done one main boss, which was Margit. Secret head. Guarantee there's not. Yeah, lies. Uh, yeah, one main boss, which was Margit, and then the rest of the time I've spent just going around looking for mini-bosses, dungeons, loot, secrets. And I always start playing with, like, an idea of, okay, I want to go here, here, and here, and do this, this, and this. And then <laughs> I end up doing something completely different. Like, I didn't have any intention to come down here. I don't even know what this is. Oh, they're back. Robots! Oh, they did... I've got a rule with the robots, right? My rule with the robots is if they do more than one message, I remove them. If it's one message, I'm happy for the robot to just exist in its little robot world. But um, <laughs> otherwise, I'm like, nah, I'll get rid of the robots. Uh, Paradise K, how's your Steam Deck order? Do you have a date yet, mate? I don't. I ordered mine like... Something like seven minutes after the pre-orders went live. Um, I was actually in Scotland when this happened. Um, I would have got it quicker, but it was a mess. I, oh, no. He doesn't take a lot of damage. <clears throat> Whoa. I did see on... They released a statement saying the next wave of emails is going to go out on the 7th. 7th of... Oh, 7th of March. And though and then that'll be and then the next one after that will be the 14th of March and then 28th of March. So if you're still meant to be quarter one, you should have an email by the 28th of March to confirm and pay for your Steam Deck. No. Roll! Roll. I don't like these swamp men. Oh! I don't think I should be here. I feel... I feel underpowered against these guys. I feel like I've come here too early. <clears throat> Jesus. Come on. Okay, that's, there's still quite a few of them there. I don't really... Can't stagger them either. They don't... They don't... Oh. No, I don't think I should be... I don't think I should be here. I think I should leave. I might leave. I might kill them first, though. That one at the very least, because he will have runes for me. Go away. 
I should have run away. I should have left. No. Leave. Uh, don't leave this way. There's loads of blood spots here. What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, there's more of them in here. Loads of them. Hello. I've come down here by accident. I want to go home. No, I'm going home. Nah. I don't think this is a place for mere mortals like me. This seems like a place that you should come when you're ready to actually do some damage. Oh, I feel this game is ten times harder with something and then the chat took it away. I missed your message, Rezzle. I'm sorry. Uh, I need some chat moderators, volunteers. Yeah, I think I will. I'll get some. If I'm going to start doing more streams, I'll grab some. Uh, but I haven't bothered sorting out um, mods because I don't stream enough to kind of justify it. Um, I'm going to get out of here. I'm get the hell out of here. I'll be taking my leave, man. See you later. Take care, MK. VR pop stars, you really shouldn't be. Okay, that's 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 nice. I felt like that's it's a lovely place. It looks gorgeous, but uh, I could immediately tell that I shouldn't be there. I was not doing enough damage to those guys to justify me being down there. Rezzle, that's where I'm going wrong. Didn't see that. Uh, yes, can someone please mod the chat? Lots of spam tonight. I don't think anyone can unless I make them a mod. So I don't think anyone can just step in and do it. Like It's just me. I have to give people power. I'm not entirely sure how we can do that. Mad Q, Beardo, I'm an, I'm, an I'm an invalid from Russia watching you and loving you like my own brother. You are my favourite blogger. Thanks so much. That's so sweet. <laughs> hey, we need to put Molly in a timeout. Yeah, she's a bit of a ruffian. She causes problems in all the... Uh... This ain't the castle, you slang. Well, look, right, get to the chopper. The castle can wait. Because there's always adventures to be had. Fun to be seen. For real though, I just get sidetracked. I'm going to go check here. Right, do that. And then I'm going to come down here to get the... There's like a map fragment here. And then I'll go to the castle. I promise. That's a, that's a stone cold guarantee from me right there. Playing with double swords instead of a shield and swords to have no block and it's hard. Yeah, yeah, no, that is a huge, a huge trade-off. Like, yes, you'll do a, an incredible amount of damage, um, but not being able to block something when you're in a pinch. Really rough, really rough. I use I use block too much. I should use dodge more. Um. Like, every now and then, I will switch to one-handed just to deal extra damage. But even then, it's really situational. Uh, C-Ra, Beardo, what do you do for a living? I, I work for a university. Um, I'm an, ad an administrative assistant for uh, lecturers. So I basically help the university put on uh, events and development opportunities for the lecturers so that they can give... So they, they can support their students better. Um, so it used to be physical events, but at the moment it's all digital events. So it's all at home working, which, which is really cool. It suits me because it allows me to have a good balance between my work, my you know, full-time job, and... Oh! That's cool. Oh! I don't know what any of that stuff was, but it was cool. But yeah, yeah, work for a university. Chopper. Chopper's got some love in the chat. People know who Chopper is. Chopper's famous. He's like, big time YouTube. Big time YouTube man. Uh, time to level up first, methinks. Yeah, I know. I need to I need to level up. I think I think this is an area you're supposed to maybe come back to after the castle. Could be wrong. Depends. There's a really good shield, Ashes of War, that would let you play shield easily. Okay. I've got, um, on my shield, I've actually got no skill. Um, equipped as the Ash of War. I don't, yeah, I don't even really know how to use the Ashes of War yet. I haven't figured that out. Right, where am I going? Here. Here? What is this? Oh, howling! So... Yesterday, 
can't hear it now. Yesterday, I was given an emote where you snap your fingers. And uh, the person who gave it to me said, like, when you hear the howling, just use this. There's a bear asleep in there. I'm not interested in that. Right, let's see if we can figure out where that howling was coming from. Weapon ashes need to be double... Howling, howling, I can hear it. Snap my fingers. Did that do anything? <laughs> Did that do anything? I don't think that did anything. <gasps> person. There's a person there. Hello. Who goes there? Oh. Carly sent you, did he? Never the it's a wolf person. Hmm. Maybe to him you don't seem so strange. The name is Blythe. This guy's voice is really quiet. I'm looking for a man who goes by Darren. That's better. I can hear now. Heard so many nearby. Also, I've heard. Come tell me if you find him all right. I can offer you ample reward. Okay. Did this guy only? Is nothing but a traitor. Okay. And in need of a fitting end to his tale. Okay. Darrowill is in need. Okay, so I need to find someone called Darrowill. I don't know if clicking my fingers made that guy appear, or if that was just like coincidence. Uh, Difficulty-wise, how does this compare to the other Dark Souls games? Uh, Alex, it is, I'd probably say... I'm going to turn my volume down quickly now. Um, I'd probably say it's... Maybe slightly easier? But that could be an illusion. I said this a lot in chat yesterday, so apologies if you're here today and you've heard me say this a million times now. But because it's open world and you can just go somewhere else and do something else it makes it way more accessible so when you come up against something really hard the ability to just leave is incredible it changes the game uh, a huge amount like boss encounters can still be really tough just like they always are in dark souls but it's just nice to be able to go okay i can't do that yet but there's you know all of this to do so you just run off and do something else that's really good how did he know I was going to hit him? And why has he got... Oh, nice! Ugh. Oh, my God. He's really aggressive. Get that drink in you. Damn. Can he come through these walls? Yeah. Yeah, he can. Ooh. That was sway. That was sway. That was worth it though. He gave me loads of goodies. Uh, Grumpy Cat. Hello again, Mr. Beardo. Game hard like Dark Souls. Yeah, really, really hard. Really, really good though. <laughs> I think I would urge anyone to play. It's a good jumping in point for people who maybe aren't super versed with the Souls games. Uh, I think it's actually a very good starting point for new players. Um, it's just built a little bit different, a little bit more accessible. Uh, King of Han, my favourite low view count streamer, disappoint me. Can I find a new home here, please? King of Han, you can you can always feel welcome here. You can always feel welcome here. And why did your other streamer disappoint you? Were they not good at the game? Did they die? Because please don't expect me to be any better. I will die many times. Uh, Phantom Lab, nice win there, Benjo. Thank you so much. I didn't think I was going to win. 
It, that felt like I was about to get absolutely slapped. JBR, that bear moves like an ape. I know. It's proper scary. It doesn't feel like a bear. Reminds me quite a bit of the um, the monkey fight from Sekiro, the big gorilla fight. Oh. Oh, axe talisman. Not particularly helpful for me because I'm using a sword, but it's still cool. I'll take it. Would you see this game is like Witcher 3 Wild Hunt? Yeah, I actually compared it to Witcher 3 a couple of times yesterday, I think. Just, um... It just felt right to compare it to Witcher 3. I think it has a lot of elements, uh, a lot of similarities to Witcher, Skyrim. Um, yeah. It, 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 feels, it feels like Dark Souls through the lens of the Witcher or Skyrim, if I'm honest. With a bit of Breath of the Wild in there as well. Like, I haven't found a path yet that didn't lead to something interesting, if you know what I mean. Like, it, if you go exploring, you're likely to find something worthwhile. Uh, too many open world games, you, you go walking about and you just find dead ends or just, just nothing exciting. What is this? Why is it glowing so much? Open for business. Wait, what? Okay, not sure why that's glowing so much. Uh, yeah, it's, there's so much in it. It's so, so rewarding. Bear fights are intense. I'm gripping my seat very hard in suspense. Yeah, trust me, my controller's, um, my controller's feeling it right now. It was getting gripped. Very tight. These guys, on the other hand, not really a problem. Three for one. Alright, mate. Calm down. One hit each on who was going to die. Tense. It always happens to me. I always get it down to, like, one hit each scenarios. It's never a clean win for me. It's always, I might die, but I might win. Whoa. The brightness changed massively just then. I think there was a cloud overhead that just, like, blew away. A uh, bit of injury. Best character to choose for a new player to the genre. What In terms of class... I'd probably go for a warrior, a samurai, or the... Like, my character. Which I can't remember what it's called. It's either a vagrant or a vagabond, and I keep forgetting. Warrior... Yeah, warrior, samurai, or this one, because they're, um... Like, traditional... Hit-hard characters, you know? Lots of strength, but there's a good balance with dexterity, um... Health. Endurance. It's a good stamina. They're really... They're really solid starting characters for anyone who wants to get into these games. Like, I tend to go sword and shield on all my first playthroughs because it's... It, I don't know, it's just easier to get to grips with the enemies you're fighting. Some enemies are really hard to kill with sorceries from afar. Alright, I like, I like fighting these things. sword in his mouth. He hates it when I do that. There was a point yesterday when they were actually quite tough. Uh, Phantom Lab, best way to describe Elden Ring is if Breath of the Wild had a baby with Dark Souls. Yeah. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. It is Breath of the Wild meets Dark Souls in, in a nutshell. Thank you, man. It's not about being bad at this game. I just want to support a streamer of its personality to grow for the joy of gaming. If it's not welcome, I move on. Yeah, that's completely fair, my man. That's why I'm here. I just, uh... I like playing video games. <laughs> and it's nice to share a new game like this with a group of people. Because I'm discovering it at the same time as other people. And I love that. Like, when I was playing last night off-stream, I was sitting in Discord with a couple of friends, and we are talking about our experiences, like, oh, I just found this. Oh, I just found this. Uh, I, just, I love that. I absolutely love that. Two mobs, one Benjo. Uh, Vagabond. Dude, Dudeson, thank you so much. I keep saying it wrong. Vagabond, Vagabond, Vagabond. I don't know why I thought it was Vagrant. Uh, what class are you playing as, you trollop? I'm playing as Vagabond. And I've just healed for no reason. I'm going to blame you for that. Um, yeah, playing as a vagabond. Sword and board. 
Why was I jumping directly up into the air just then? Come on. What was Jon Snow's wolf called? It looks like that. Ghost? <laughs> it's a ghost now because it's dead. Um... Come here. Come here. Thank you. And you. Oh. All right. He wasn't interested in uh, having a fight then. He's just... He peaced out. I'll take the fight to him. Come on. Come here. There we go. There we go. I feel mean killing the animals that aren't really posing much of a threat to me. But... I want those delicious runes. Oh, man. You can't see it, but I've got... Yeah, I've got like 11,000 runes at the moment. I need to stop and heal. Uh, not heal. Level up. I need to level up. It's white, so call it White Fang. White Fang. Is there a famous wolf called that? That sounds really familiar. Yes, it's Ghost, and I thought you knew nothing, Mr. Snow. I'm not Jon Snow. I'm not Jon Snow. And if I was, I would have killed Daenerys immediately. Because, you know, it was obvious that she was a nightmare. Grumpy Cat was trying to play Lost Ark the other night, but it turned into a Q simulator. Yeah, I worry about that. I had a similar experience with New World when that launched, but um, I would actually say New World was, was pretty good. They A little bit of queuing around the first first day or so but then it fixed itself and uh, I don't didn't really queue for any longer than maybe five minutes after that but New World didn't hit the kind of numbers that um, Lost Ark is hitting right now <laughs> Lost Ark is hitting crazy numbers it's like straight into the top 10 biggest concurrent peaks on Steam ever which is just mind blowing by the way I have no idea where I'm going oh I've walked all the way back here when I was supposed to be going there alright okay sorry Whoops. Whoops a daisy. Oh, it's a little castle. Oh, yeah, that's well worth going there. I'm going to go there to that little castle on that cliff. We'll see what we can find. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I remember when I used to go out on Saturday nights. Just go out, get drunk, have a kebab. Now all I want to do is play video game. I feel like I've made the right choice. White Fang is a novel about a wolf. Is it? I don't read enough books. You got the mount yet? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's quicker, isn't it? <laughs> Honestly, I keep forgetting that like, this thing exists so much quicker. <laughs> Blue glowing light was a bit of a clue. Yeah, I know, right? It's a dead giveaway that I was going in completely the wrong direction. All right, what we got in here? What we got in here? Hello, lads. Oh. Right, we're storming the castle. We're not mucking around. We're going straight in. We're going to kill everyone. Straight in. Hello. Missed him. Ransack. You fools. Oh my god, they stand no chance. It's a massacre. Who are you trying to crossbow? Hey, there we go. Oh. Hello. Do you have quarrel with me, sir? If you have no quarrel with me, then I have... Is that my sword art? like that a lot. Okay. Hello. 
He has quarrel with me. Shit. How can he see? Hmm, that was a bad roll. That was far too early. Okay. Oh, he's fine. No, he's not. Come on. Oh! <laughs> in my in my mind he was dead. Because I thought that last hit killed him, but it bonked off his little his little nut head. Very cool. Good job for him. What a noob! I'm the biggest noob there is. A seed! Yes, you need those, they're important. Uh stupid autocorrect. I didn't even see what you autocorrected, so I I just trusted it was good. Uh I'll nip. I'll rip one out Saturday with you for drinks, mate. You'll rip one out. Well, me and you, we're going to go out. Me, me, you, we'll get GT. Me, you, GT. Steve knows. Who else is from the UK? Who else can we get involved? We'll get all the UK VR YouTubers together and we'll go out on a rager. We'll just go out and get absolutely battered. And then we'll all eat kebabs together and stay in a hotel. It'll be amazing. We'll film the whole thing. Put it up as a blog. Uh, yes, Ben, I agree with Jambo. Tell us what snacks you have. I have no snacks because you went to Scotland and you left no food in the house <laughs> and now I'm starving and I might die <laughs> yeah I have no snacks I've got nothing uh, I ate all my chocolate buttons earlier after I was done with cyberpunk because I was editing it uh, Benjo do that sword art then follow it up with another attack immediately there is one more stroke to that combo Oh, yeah, of course there would be. There'd be like kind of a... Oh, that's so good. Okay, that is so nice. I've got to land that on somebody. Oh, that's using my FP. My FP's all gone. Does that come back normally? No, I've used it all now. <laughs> used it all now. I am a noob. Uh, Silent plays. How are you liking it, bro? I'm absolutely loving it. I'm just, I'm just getting lost in the world, man. I'm not doing anything in particular. I'm just running around, looking at stuff. Barely touched the main quests. Uh, it's, it's everything I wanted it to be and more. It'd be a legendary night out. It would be amazing, PD. <laughs> I reckon he has a bag of buttons. I don't have buttons. I can fly to the UK and join you guys. Sounds like fun. Do it. Let's, go, let's get everyone over. Uh, poor effort on the snack front. It's going too fast. I can't catch up now. Harry Chai, man. Home Alone eats all the food in the house in one sitting. Tradition. I, I did eat quite a lot of food earlier. Like, I had two packs of beef jerky. Uh, I made myself a bacon and egg roll. I had some buttons. I can't remember what else I had. I had a lot of food in one sitting while I was editing. It was it was insane. How freaking cool is that attack? Vran, hello. Haven't seen you in a while, man. What a game, eh? Managed to make it run smoothly. So good. Glad you got it running, mate. Benja, do you know if there's any coupons for the game or just a way to get it cheaper? I can't afford it full price. CD keys. CD. If you're playing it on PC, uh, CD keys is my go-to site for basically any PC game. I think it, I think the game is like 50, 60 quid on Steam. Do you reckon that thing's going to get up? No. I think it's like 50, 60 quid on Steam, but on CD keys it was 36. Which still isn't, like, don't get me wrong, it's still not cheap, but it was it was cheaper. I don't know if it's... I knew that was going to happen. I don't know if it's still that price now, um, but keep an eye on CD keys because they're always crazy cheap. Oh, no. Compared to, like, normal RRP anyway. Come on. I will catch up on chat. I need to kill this stupid fire bomber because if they hit one of these barrels, we're all dead. We're all dead. Ah! It happened. Who was that? Was that you? You cheeky sausage. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh. Those cookbooks are actually good. They give you um, new crafting recipes, which is really important. 
London and Dublin was beautiful when I went. I had so much more fun there than in the States. Deliver her some chocolate. Haruchai, stop spending your money on me. Get, get yourself some chocolate. You madman. You absolute madman. Thank you so much. It's very sweet. I'm, I'll never, ever get used to donations. That's really strange. It's a strange... It's a strange concept to me, and it, it feels alien right now. But it's like just the sweetest thing ever. Okay, run, run, run. CD is currently 26% off. That's brilliant. Yeah, I think that's about what I paid. You deserve that. Um, yeah, I think I paid about 36 English. English pounds for it. And... Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. You nasty bugger. You're going to get cheesed now because of that. He's coming for me. He wants me dead. Don't fling your blood at me. Yeah. Oh, a new Art of War. Bloody Slash. Okay, so what he was just doing to me... I now have and can do unto others. That is brilliant. That is a brilliant turn of events. Have you tried reshade and super depth? I need to try that. I watched your video earlier. Just giving it all back for the many, many hours of top-notch entertainment. Ah, right, thank you. Thank you so much. I make videos because it makes me happy. I honestly just love doing it. Like, I was sitting today and, um... Part of me was like, oh, I won't make a video today. I'll just chill all weekend. I'll just do some streams. But I just, I wanted to check out the cyberpunk thing. So it didn't feel like work. It just feels like fun. Editing feels like work. As much as I love editing, it does feel like work. Fran, dude, I live in the UK now. Do you? That's mad. Okay. I didn't know that, dude. That's crazy. Well, you're coming on our, um, Kebab fueled drunken night out then. VR content creators go wild. I'm gonna sell it. It's gonna be mental. Of course, that's the only way I play games. Yeah, Vran's not gonna play something flat. Don't be silly, PD. Man doesn't know what flat means. Oh, half of a medallion. Could be good. Whee! Could be good. Could be nonsense. I'm sure we won't find out for a long, long time. Yeah, man. Two weeks now. Oh, dude. Welcome to the UK. How are you enjoying it? It's, you know, cold. A bit grey. Um, things cost more by the day. Uh, yeah. It's great. <laughs> but I guess that's the whole world. That's not just the UK. Yeah. I paid to see that what you'd pay to see the uh, VR content creators gone wild video I think we need to make it happen in all seriousness like I still haven't met up with anyone Jason said he can't let Haruja have the beast donation buy some Swiss chocolate instead damn dude thank you so much that's, that's a lot of chocolate I was saying this earlier when I started stream like you, I have to be completely transparent with you all. Anyone who donates anything, you're, but you're basically donating to uh, make me fat and um, maybe even kill me off quicker because I'm home alone for the next like four days. So I'm, I'm probably just going to eat takeaway. So just full transparency. That's what you're doing to me right now. I'm not mad about it. Not mad about it at all. <laughs> but just so you know. If you see me on Twitter saying that I've been eating like a whole KFC family bucket to myself. That's why. What's that tree about? Minor Erd tree. Why is it on the map? Why is it on the map? Make sure you treat them to the finest Downs Barn kebab. Mm, I haven't had a Downs Barn kebab in ages. Or a um, or or a Neath Hill, Neath Hill curry. Mm. Only the finest. 
recently, if I want a kebab, I've been having the um, GDK, that German Donner kebab thing. Because it's like not greasy. It's like really nice. It's like a, pr a premium, like a posh man's kebab. And it's like actually beef rather than undisclosed random meat of bizarre animal. Porky Banjo. Need a series on Twitter of takeaway of the day. Yeah, every day for the next four days, I'll tell I'll tell you what I've eaten on Twitter. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter to find out what I've eaten that day. I was really tempted earlier to order um, a whole like log of biltong online. I think it's because we were talking about biltong yesterday on stream, and I really I was like, oh, you know, I kind of want uh, just a Oh, a kite shield. I don't know if that's better than what I've currently got. Hold on. Hold on, mate. Hold on. 88. Keep mine. Physical 100. 55, 59, 39, 54. 55, 59, 39, 54. I don't think there's a way to compare stats in this game um, when you're purchasing stuff. Um... I can scroll, but I can't like do a compare. No, forty-seven, fifty-three, thirty-five, forty. Nah, it's not as good as what I've currently got. Lump of flesh, beast liver, sliver of meat. No, I'm just not. Still haven't spent runes. Don't die. Thank you very much for reminding me not to die today. Um, yeah, I'm tempted to just like get a big build on, but I'm gonna venture out into the real world tomorrow. I know that's kind of scary, but I'm going to go to the shops and, like, maybe maybe buy some clothes. Not that I need any clothes. If you get that thing where you just kind of want to spend some money. I got paid on Friday, so I'm going to go to, to, the, to, the, to the big shops. To the big shops. Go into the big shops tomorrow. And I'm going to have a look at... Oh, it's up there. Have a look at some... Some shops. So I might, I might go to the... I might go and try and find the South African shop near me and just buy a biltong from there. But I'll get one that hasn't been shredded and then I can sit here with a knife and cut bits off and feel like a badass. Okay, can I get up here to this little mini erd tree? And if I can, what will it do? Partial to a bit of biltong? Mm, limitless, you're a man of culture. Man of culture, man of class. Love a bit of built on. Paradise Decay. Ben's four day takeaway. Chocolate buttons. Chocolate buttons. Chocolate. <laughs> ch chocolate poo shapes. Mate, that chocolate poo shape yesterday, that threw me. Quality control at Cadbury's has gone out the window. I'll tell you that for free. If I worked there, I'd never let that little poo get into a bag. No chance. Okay, it should be right in front of me. Should be right here. Whoa! Minor Erd Tree. Oh, is it this one? It's this! It's here! This isn't the Erd Tree, though, is it? It's not the, the big one in the, on the map. It looks pretty big. Alright, okay. Okay, fair enough. You guys, honestly, you don't understand how much I love chocolate buttons. Chocolate buttons are the very best Cadbury's chocolate that you can buy. I'll fight anyone that says otherwise. Bare knuckle brawl in a um, inflatable swimming pool filled with oil, and I'll televise it. Can I go in the tree? No. Yeah, if I worked there, no chocolate would get as far as the bags. It wouldn't. <laughs> it, it wouldn't. I think I've actually already been here. Try rolling. Okay, I've already been here. Alright, you know what? I've explored the wilderness for far too long. Let's go to the bloody castle. Because I'm just out here doing mad stuff. Let's go to the castle. Let's do it. Let's get in the bloody castle. The eggs are my crack. Which eggs? 
If it's mini eggs, I'll let you off because mini eggs are amazing. Mini eggs are amazing. Dexterity, endurance, that's what I'm going to go for. Okay, what's flagging behind? Intelligence is looking kind of low, but I don't really need it at the moment. Um, vigor. I could do with a little bit more vigor. Get my HP up. One more on endurance. Yeah, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Feeling good. Nothing beats a good cream. Mmm, cream eggs are good. But you can only eat one cream egg. You can't, you can't sit and eat like three or four cream eggs. You know? If you want to have a little bit of a pig out on some chocolate, cream eggs not the way to do it because you'll quite quickly, f you'll be done. You'll be like, nah, I've had enough. What's down here? Secrets. Yeah, cream eggs are good, but yeah, there's a limit to how many cream eggs you can eat. Mini eggs, you can eat as many as you want. You can eat like four, 400 mini eggs. And you would be fine. Chocolate buttons, you could eat 400. Oh, have I just skipped the castle by coming down here? What's this? Liar. Okay. Mm. Okay, I can go back around and go back up the castle. Interesting, interesting, interesting. M2 Bobo strap still giving me issues. Oh man, um, but butter something. What's what's on, what's up with you with your M2? That's the strap I use. Mini creams. You like them? What the hell is a mini cream? Be wary of dark spot. Yeah, um, Bobo M2 strap is the strap I use. I've used a few different straps for ages. I had just a um, random off-brand one from Amazon. I did, did the job really well. I, I can't remember what it was called. I haven't tried Kiwi's um, strap. And I've tried the Oculus Elite strap and the Elite strap with battery pack. I think I think the M2 is my favourite by, by quite a long shot. When I used it without the battery pack, it was kind of sliding up the back of my head. But with the battery pack, it's a really good counterbalance. And it stays on firmly. Alex Durham, as an American, the chocolate discussion makes me wish I could get my paws and some quality buttons, whatever that means. <laughs> Compromise, bag of mini cream eggs. Yeah, mini cream eggs are good. I'll let you have that one. You could eat 400 of those. C come over here, would you? All right. You, you're, you're tarnished, aren't you? I would advise against taking the main gate into the castle. Look at that neck. It's tightly guarded by hardened old hands. Oh, tr tr try the opening right here. Guards don't know about it. Thank you. You breach the castle undetected. Seems a little bit strange to like just give me that information. Yes. For free. That's the spirit. Bit suspect. You're just the kind of tarnish that I love. Whoa. Uh I pray. Aid seventeen seventy two. Hi Buddha Benjamin, nice to catch you live. Thank you very much for stopping stopping by. I appreciate it. Uh Hi, chat. What's your favourite, Jaffa Cakes or Jammy Dodgers? Jaffa Cakes. Don't even have to think about it. Jaffa Cakes. Jaffa Cakes. Love Jaffa Cakes. Loyalty ahead. Yeah, I like that guy. I respect him. Uh, Reese's Chocolate. I do like Reese's. I like Reese's a lot. But again, that's kind of sickly. Because peanut butter's a lot. Like You have one or two. Woo, you're done. And when I eat chocolate, I eat a lot of chocolate. Oh man, this is kind of precarious. John Egbert, I'm back. Just started reinstalling Cyberpunk after seeing your VR vid. Got to try that VR. Yeah, dude, it's it's really good. It's it was much better than my video makes it look. Um, I say when I'm playing it without recording, I can get a pretty solid 60 frames per second. But as soon as I threw the recording on top, it, it dropped me to about 35, 40 frames per second. Uh, my, my my PC is no slouch, but it's starting to fall back on a few things. And, um, yeah, an upgrade's probably incoming, but I'll wait to see what new cards and things are announced this year. Um, but, yeah, honestly, try it out. It's very, very good. Stick everything on low, because it looks amazing. Always a lie. 
Any good chocolate but frozen, especially dark. Any good chocolate but frozen. Oh, as in like you like it frozen. I keep my chocolate in the fridge. Um, and some people call me crazy for that. But I think chocolate's better when it's cold. Ah! Why does that eagle have swords on its legs? Jeez. When you're not attacked for a little while, then you get attacked. That's well scary. Whew. Didn't like that. Jaffa cakes, but the kids get them first. <laughs> That's why you don't have kids, because the kids will eat all your chocolate. Don't have kids and then eat all the chocolate for yourself. Joe Bob, mate, isn't the Zinger Stacker the best burger ever? I mean, I, I don't know about best burger ever, but it's, it's pretty good. My problem with the Zinger is um, my belly can't do spicy things anymore. I know it's not the spiciest thing in the world, but um, it, it's enough to set me off. It's enough to set me off. So I just usually go for the one that's got the hash brown in the middle. A little hash brown in there. It's tasty. I feel like I'm dodging the whole castle by doing it. Oh, no, I am going to go into the castle. Okay. A butter something. I don't know if I'm using the M2 strap wrong or what, but, like, it falls off my head when I look down and up. thought that the battery and all the time would help, but no. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, the battery really kind of helps it stay in place for me. It doesn't fall off. I, I make sure it's super tight. It, like, it just stays. It's one of the only headsets that doesn't really move when I move around. Um, without the battery, the back bit slides upwards. And it, it's not very comfortable. But with the battery, it's a really good battery. I can't wait. Uh, just got the RX 660, uh, 6600. And not the XT, but normal. And very good. Loads different in VR than the old RX 590. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm very... Uh, his ass can't do spicy things. It's not my ass. It's, it's my belly. <laughs> it, it actually puts me in pain. Ah, I end up in hospital on morphine. Oh, no. No. Killed by the eagles. At least I spent my, 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 my thingies, my souls. Yeah, I ended up in hospital on bloody on, on some morphine. Um wasn't last year, year before, because I was, I was having stomach problems. So I had to really watch what I eat. It was messing me up. Zinger Tower, hash brown, goodness. Mike Newton, re relocating to the UK for chocolate. I wouldn't blame you. I feel like the UK or like Europe has like chocolate supremacy. I'm not a fan of Hershey's. Like I had Hershey's. It's like a bit, um, it's a bit like grainy. Chocolate in the UK or chocolate in Europe is like more creamy. American chocolate, yeah, it's a bit grainy. It's not quite as sweet either. Okay, right. These these eagles are kind of rough. Here it comes. Easy. One counter attack can put them to sleep. That's fine. I died to herpes. I mean harpies. What did that stomach feel like? Um, pain. <laughs> lots and lots of pain. Um, yeah, like in all seriousness, it was like right up here, sternum. Um, mainly stress. Worked a couple of jobs that I just, I just was not having a good time in, and it, it put me in a, put me in a bad place stress-wise. And then if I ate something that was even a little bit aggravating, it, yeah, it, it really messed me up. It wasn't, uh, wasn't good. Had to have that tube down the throat thing. That was, uh, it was fun. Okay, if I can get rid of this one. No! Shh, bugger. Oh, oh! One. Two. Bugger. Oh! Still alive. Oh, dead now. Hot ripple. Hot ripple. Age 1772. Every Saturday night after gaming, I do spicy chicken wings and barbecue sauce and chilies and spring onions. That sounds so good. That sounds amazing. That sounds exactly like what I want to eat. Like, I love spicy food. 
Not too spicy to the point where you can't like taste it. it still has to have, still has to have flavour. Um, but I have to be so careful. I, I love jalapenos. Um, if I had tacos or like um, quesadillas, oh, I, I would want jalapenos in them. But I've had to just get used to not having them in there. Or like some Cholula. Um, just hot sauce. It's a sad life. King of Hunt, I enjoy my stay here already. <laughs> Thanks so much, man. I do just chill streams. Ah, no! I hate these. I hate them. Oh, I hate them. Oh, no. Oh, really nasty, those. I don't like them at all. Uh, Ingmar M, will you try this one in VR? Now, this has um, easy anti-cheat. So, currently, I don't think it hooks onto Vorpex. You can get it to work with uh, Reshade in 3D. So, you can sit and play it in a headset and it all displays in 3D. You still have to play it with the controller, of course. But you can play it on a big 3D screen. I know Paradise Decay um, has got a video up on that. I think he put it up yesterday or maybe today. Um, but yeah, there's a video up from Paradise showing that. I think I'm going to wait a while. I mean, Sekiro, they got a first-person mod built. And then that in Vorpex was crazy. So I'd like to see if they can get something similar running in this. It might take some time, but I think that's when I would jump in. Because um, Dark Souls 3 in first person in VR was insane it was a little bit a little bit rough in terms of like frame rate and stuff but it was so cool that I'd like to see this in a very similar manner I know the feeling of a bad job it sucks yeah man honestly a bad job can put so much stress on you that you, you just don't need and you, you won't even realise that it's the job that's doing it to you necessarily you'll just feel stressed and be like why am I so stressed and you usually figure it out too late or when you've already left because then you start to feel okay. But yeah, don't 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 stay in a job that makes you stressed or unhappy. It's, it's, you you got to get out. Life's too short. Cool. New shield. New shield. Flamey boy. Put that trumpet away. Might have been too late. He might have summoned his friends. Oh, nasty. Oh, I'm close to the edge. Wow. Right. Back away, not today. Disco lady. Jeez. Oh! I could feel that coming. I could feel, uh, you know, I could feel the ledge behind my heels. I could just feel it. I knew it was happening. And I couldn't stop it. I couldn't stop it. Don't forget the like button. Or, yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. Tickle that like button. Share it with some friends. I was thinking the other day, right? I'm almost at 50,000 subscribers. If there was a way where I could just tell <laughs> each one of those people to tell a friend, then immediately I'd have 100,000 subscribers. How cool would that be? God, these guys suck. Alright, okay. These guys suck. Whew, amazing. Uh, Paradise K, cheers, mate. <laughs> no worries, man. We're all in this together. We're sharing the good word. VR! Pretty Right. That only took me an hour and 25 minutes, but I'm in the castle. I made it to where I said I'd be. In the thumbnail and the title and all that stuff. I've done it, guys. I've made it. We're here. Joe Bob, great stream. Thanks very much. Thank you very, very much. Alright, let's check down here before I go upstairs. 
Time for rolling. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. That's the first time I've used that on an enemy, and that is unbelievably sweet. Oh my god. Oh, is that a weapon? It is. 89 damage. I bet it's got I bet it's speeds fast on that. Okay. Mm, maybe not now, but maybe for a meme. Maybe later. Try and kill a boss with some claw hands or something. Okie dokie. Let's go upstairs. Put that away in case I set any of these on fire. Nope. Go on, try again. I think I'm safe. I think I'm safe. I think I'm safe. I think I'm safe. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Hey, Ben, as my oldest friend, I want you to check out this weird beardy YouTuber. There you go. I have shared you with one of my friends. Thanks, man. I'm going to go and subscribe to that guy right now. Ah! If you could take one feature to every VR game, what would it be? One feature to every VR game. What would it be? I think it's probably not an exciting answer. But something I think that should be in every single VR game is just better accessibility options. I think every single VR game should be able to be played seated or standing. Every game should have snap, smooth, teleport and locomotion from from the word go. Like from day one. Um, with the exception of room scale only experiences. Which are built to be played whilst manoeuvring around a space. Because that's a very different experience. But I think, yeah, I think just just better better accessibility. Because so so often I'll get a game to play on the channel when it's brand new, and um, like I'll be basically it feels like I'm play testing a lot of the time because there's, there's issues and things that shouldn't be prevalent like that close to launch. Like yeah, like no smooth turning or no option to play seated. Um, and that's, that's kind of not good enough. And I know that the VR industry is still kind of young. So a lot of devs are still learning. And a lot of devs are kind of indie devs. They're much smaller. Um, but accessibility options and just options in general are like really important. Not everyone has, you know, not everyone can play standing. Not everyone can stand, but still want to enjoy VR. Um, I can't play stuff with snap turn. I just I hate it. <laughs> So if that's my only option, I, I'm immediately kind of put off. Uh, golden rune. Jump! Just do it. Just do it, Nike. Just do it. Just do it. I've been to the Cadbury factory in Manchester years ago, but didn't work there <laughs> as a contractor. I went to the Cadbury factory. Is it in Manchester? I've been there. I remember them just giving me a different chocolate bar in every room that I went into, and it was ridiculous. Lame. Bad answer. Kidding, kidding. That's a good idea. What about multiplayer games uh, that are competitive? Um, I'd like every game to have a VR option. Simples. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the real answer, isn't it? Like, I just want every game to have at least a VR option. Oh my god, that room is so filled with blood. Okay, so there's a dude in there. I can see him. He's there, look. Why has he killed all these people? Is he that hard? Really? Yep. I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. He's laughing at me. What? Look at all the blood. Mm -hmm. Ooh. 
Okay. He... He... He gave me a bloody good rollicking just then, but I'm going to go back in and I'm going to beat him because I can hit him hard enough. He doesn't deserve to be alive. I've been playing VR for years now. Smooth turning still makes me feel ill. Any other movement I can handle with no problem. Uh, yeah, that's why it's important, I think, to not get rid of snap turning because it's, it's an accessibility option for most people. Um, but I think smooth needs to be an option as well, especially for content creators who can stomach it. Because watching a video on YouTube or Twitch or wherever with smooth turning ah, looks a lot nicer than uh, watching one with snap turning. It just kind of gives a better impression of how it feels to be in there. Uh, you have a donation link, mate. I don't. I don't. I don't have a donation link. I turned on super chat. Uh, yesterday, because people told me to, and people have been donating through that today. I don't know how it works though, because <laughs> I've never used it. I'm like brand new. Um, but yeah, I turned that on yesterday. But it's you don't have to donate anything, honestly. Just you being here and watching is enough. Um, means the world to me. Uh, Biro, have you ever played War Thunder in VR? I have because of you, mate. It's crazy. And I got into VR because of you. And the kids wanted one, and you helped me loads. Thanks, man. <laughs> no, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I haven't played War Thunder. Um, is that the... I think... Is it is it planes and ships? Like, naval... Naval combat and... Uh, aviation? I think. I could be wrong. I might be thinking of a different game. Uh... If you loot the corpse when you walk away, walk in, you'll get the key. Big Dick Damasia. What a name. <laughs> uh, my favourite thing about streaming or YouTube is reading people's names. <laughs> like, I'm not even lying. There's, just, there's some amazing names out there. And Big Dick Damasia is right up there with the very best of them. Um, cool, thanks for the tip. I'll grab the key, but I want to kill him. Uh, so I might just lock myself in. I, just might, I might just lock myself in and, and let him. Come on. God, it's so dangerous. Do it again. Come on. There we go. That's enough. All right, aggression. Aggression. Whoa. He hit me. No. Oh. Planes, ships, tanks, mate. Yeah, I thought so. War Thunder VR is amazing. Ted Striker 2000. Okay. Maybe I should play it. I can literally picture like the, the box art, like the key art for the game in my head. Um, but yeah, no, I've never played it. I'll give it a go. I think the only game like that... That I've played was is um hmm suspicious is um warplanes World War One fighters which I really like okay so he's in there now isn't he just kind of doing his thing all right okay Whew. I'm gonna die another couple of times I think I don't think I'll get him straight away all right got a key. Pick my moment. Learn his attacks. Followed by shield bash. Followed by a swipe. Followed by a swipe. Followed by a swipe. So many attacks. Wow. Okay. 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 Maybe just full on aggression. Maybe just go in and just batter him. BMF VR. There he is. Good old Matt. How are you liking this game? Hoping to play it on Steam Deck. Dude, I'm absolutely loving it. I'm, I'm kind of scared about getting a Steam Deck and having this game because I think it'll be like 3 in the morning. I'll be in bed and my wife will just hear the game boot up. Because having this portable is a terrifying and amazing prospect. The game is so vast. It's so big. Oh, good lord. I mean, I'm still in the very, very early starting areas, and I'm, a pr I'm probably coming up to 12 hours playtime at the moment. So, yeah, it's, it's bonkers. Uh, got all this love for Matt. People know. People, people seem to know who this Matt guy is. 
You'd think he was like a big deal on YouTube or something. Mental. Absolute mental. If anyone doesn't know who Matt is, which is very unlikely, go check out his channel. Make some of the best VR content around. He's just breached the 200k sub mark, which is crazy, but deserves every single one of them. Come here, you! Oh no, he got me before I got him. That's not fair. That's not how this works. Guess what, mate? That was good. Whoa! I let my guard down because I thought he was dead after that one hit. He wasn't. He was still alive. Very much alive. Alive and kicking. Roast beef McFlappins. So I heard you like Goofy now. <laughs> I have a feeling Roast beef McFlappins is act actually Alex. I think you've changed your name because there's still an A. Ah, that's your profile picture. But I could be wrong. Roast beef McFlappins. None of that, you sausage. You can sneak attack the knight for huge damage if you sneak past him on the left side of the wall. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. All my deaths so far have been down to being locked in animations. Not used to that. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks. I haven't really encountered much of that. If any. Most of my deaths have just been... Like kind of not ignorance, but just like I want to beat this thing and I refuse to move on and I just keep throwing myself against it, throwing myself against it, throwing myself against it. Uh, until I until I come out on top. So that usually causes me a bunch of deaths. They rack up pretty damn quick. Easy anti cheat on a non PvP game. Why? To stop mods. Yeah. Um Bandai Namco, FromSoft. Really, really anti mods. Um <laughs> my account on Dark Souls 3 I think is still banned. I've been banned twice, so it might actually be a perma ban. And the only reason I'm banned is because I used the uh, cheat engine to make myself go into first person to play the VR mode. I was disconnected from the internet when I did it. I didn't play it online. I didn't use anything else. And then as soon as I filmed the video, I got rid of the cheat thing, cheat engine, and went back to third person. But they banned me anyway and left me as a perma ban, so I can't play online with normal people. Uh, they're really anti, like, tampering with the game. I get it, because the online community, is, it, it could be, um, yeah, it could be exploited. But in my instance, like, what I was doing, if anything, was making me, was putting me at a disadvantage. So, yeah, it's a weird one. They're very, very anti. All right, all right. So I can get a backstab on him. He can be backstabbed, can't he? Can't, he can be... Hmm. They are the Nintendo of mods, yeah. Okay, right. Oh, no, I can sneak past him here, is what you're saying. No freaking way. No freaking way. That's a start. Ah! <laughs> He's pissed! Gather him, gather him, gather him. Will he come out? <laughs> oh, it's so cheap. Feel so dirty. Feels wrong, but it feels so right. You know, if the shoe fits, wear it. Do you not give me anything? Oh, there's a chest in the corner of the room. Go for that. There we go. Nice bit of cheese. We got you. Curved sword talisman. I have a curved sword. Enhances guard counters. 
Stick it on. Stick it on, mate. Wear it. Wear it proudly. Um, uh, Biggity, Biggity Bam. That is an amazing name. <laughs> I'm really loving these names now. Uh, did you ever play Phantom Covert Ops? Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna break the news to you now. I've never played Phantom Covert Ops. It's made by um, didn't get this wrong. I want to say Phantom Covert Ops was End Dreams. I think. Um, if so, I really rate their stuff. And they're a great VR dev team. The game looks good. I just never got around to playing it. I should play it. Mate, I'll stop for dinner and to watch you. How far have you got? Oh, Kiratron. Hello. Welcome. Um, I haven't got far. Still in this starting area. I'm just trying to make my way through the castle. Um, I spent the first, like, almost two hours of the stream just over here. Just dicking about, really. Just doing all kinds of crazy things. Oh, that's because I got teleported over there yesterday. All right, I should catch up with some chat. Uh, sometimes you just got to cheese the game. You've got to. Uh, Beard Avenger, out of 1,000, how disappointed were you with Hitman VR sucking so bad? <laughs> Butter something. I'm practically I'm gonna I'm gonna blow your mind right now. I actually really liked Hitman VR. I'm still playing it. I'm going through the levels currently. Hitman VR is a strange one because it's I fully understand why it is the way it is. It wasn't built for VR, and it has to play by all the same rules as the non-VR game because they're they're interconnected. They're combined. They're one thing. You can play the flat screen version and then flick to to VR and it's it's all built within the same confines, the same system, the same rules. So that's why it feels so restrictive. Some things there's no excuse for, like um, the performance, the blurriness, the visuals. There's no excuse for that. But for stuff like pressing a button to go up ladders, um, only using the one hand, that makes sense to me because it's just the flat screen game in VR and it has to play by the same rules. To get a proper Hitman VR game, they would need to build it from scratch because it needs to play by its own rules. Um, but because you can't stop halfway up a ladder in the main game, pull out a gun and shoot someone behind you, you can't do it in the VR mode because it's not built around that within that framework. So I'm enjoying it for what it is. And it is a lot of fun for what it is. But I, I'm I completely sympathetic to anyone who purchased it because it's not worth the money if you bought it as a VR product. I'm playing it through Game Pass so I didn't spend cash on it. Uh, it's just part of my membership. And I think if you want to check out Hitman VR, that is the only way I would ever recommend anybody do it if you're not interested in playing the flat screen bit. You just want to play VR. No, so there you go. So I'm not, I'm not disappointed with it. I, I'm, I'm actually having a good time with it. Dirty Tactics always wins coming from a thief player such as myself. Yeah, man, you've got to exploit those Dirty Tactics. You don't get those opportunities very much. <laughs> no, my GC. When I watched you play Hitman VR, it looked like you were having fun. I was. I've had a lot of fun with it. Um, I've done a few videos where I'm just playing levels in the game, and they're actually my favourite videos that I've made recently. They don't perform particularly well. People don't really watch them, but I really enjoy them, and I really like editing them and, and filming them. I have a lot of fun. So, do what we, do I wish it was better? Yes. Do I wish you could use both hands? Yes. But that's not the product we've got. And I can make do with the product we've got for now. How do I get there? We'll find a way. We'll find a way. So I guess my next question is, what happened to the VR side? Was it outsourced? No, it was all done in-house. It was IOI. They made it. Um, but again, because they... Maybe they naively viewed it... They, they, it's a VR mode rather than a VR game. So all they did was they looked, they had the flat screen game already built. All the rules are there. All the things you can and can't do are there. And they just made it VR. They pushed it first person, let you control your arms. And that was it. So they didn't think any further forward. To create the VR game we want, they would have to completely decouple it from the, the experience as it is. And... Um, that would be that would be its own unique game, which I hope we see. Try jump attack. I'm not going to make that. Jump attack. There's no physical way I'll make that. Like, look how far I can jump. Um, can I do? A, is there a longer jump? 
Uh, I will not make that. I will die. Try jumping. Good luck. Try jump attack. No, I will not make that. No. Uh, did you manage to sort the frames issue on PC? I'm still getting quite a few frame drops and want to find a fix. It's been really good for me today. I haven't really had any frame drops today. Um, I watched the Digital Foundry breakdown and they basically said it doesn't matter what you do, you're going to get the frame drops. It's a game issue at this point, sadly. Um, there's, there's a few things you can do. I think it was the third most popular review on Steam. I had a bunch of... Um... Oh, come on. How far will I fall? No. Um, and a bunch of things you can try, and I applied a lot of them. And they seem to have worked a bit. Some some things you can change on your PC. But yeah, I think if you're if you're playing it on PC right now, you're going to experience issues, sadly. Uh, might you see I have it on Game Pass, luckily. Yeah, yeah. Did PS not hold it back since they made it on PSVR first? Yeah, I think this is definitely a um, a port of the PS version. Like, they haven't done anything different to it. I think even graphically, like it's got that same kind of hazy blurriness that the PSVR version has. It's not crisp. Um, so I think they could they could probably still apply updates to the PC version to increase its popular <coughs> popularity. But whether they'll spend any time doing that, I don't really know. I don't know whether it's worth it for them. Uh, Jacob James, how is the performance on PC? I've heard there are frame drops. There there are there are frame drops when you enter new areas. I really want that item. I'm sorry, I'm obsessing. I really want that item. Um, there are a lot of frame drops when you enter new areas. But, um... It's... It's completely manageable, I think. I had an instance yesterday where I was fighting a boss and the frame rate was so bad it was actually getting me killed. That was really frustrating. But it's only happened that once. Everything else has been pretty smooth. But I probably would wait for a patch or get it on console if you've got a console that, that it's out for. Ooh, hammer. <sighs> I've only got one flask left to heal. So if I jump and don't make it, I'm going to land all the way down there. Nah, it's too far. Look, at it's too far. No, it's too far. I can't make that jump. No, I'm not. I'm doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm pushing on. Pushing onwards. Uh, do you think they'll make more interactive version of Hitman 3 PSVR 2 with new controllers? I don't think they will. I think. I think on PSVR 2, if we get anything, we'll get an update that basically just brings it in line with the PC version, so you've got at least motion controls. <laughs> Uh, but it won't be any better than the PC VR than the, than the PC VR version. Yeah, I think it'll be basically just that, which is still good, still good for PlayStation owners. Um, because having the like the, the motion controls as, as opposed to the controller is so much nicer. Just wish that the left hand <laughs> did something. Your left hand feels so pointless in that game because it can't pick up items or shoot guns. It's just a bit weird. It's just a bit weird. Can I ask what PC you're running? Uh, specs, please, mate, if you don't mind. I don't mind at all. Uh, so my specs are... I have an RTX 2080 graphics card. I've... Oh. Praise the mushroom. Okay, I can't do anything here. This may be... That's not the same hole, is it? No, different hole. Uh, yeah, RTX 2080. I have an i7 9700K processor and 32 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, this currently is installed on my SSD, so it's, it's on a faster drive. Um, and yeah, that's that's what I'm using currently. I'm starting to feel the urge to buy uh, a new system, but I don't need it. This is still doing the job for me. Uh, even with the frame drop, still loving the game, I would still get it in my opinion. Yeah, I think I, it's 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 not impacting the playability at all. Like. Oh, bugger, he's big. I've only got one heal left. Oh, he's going to mess me up, isn't he? He's seen me. Bugger, 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 bugger. That's a slow...
slow halberd, though. Yes! Come on. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away! My word! He's an excited little fella. Ah. Get off the stairs. Perfection. See you later, mate. Drop on him. Ah, oh, that all came together. Oh! That all came together really nicely in my favour. I've got no heals left, though. I didn't think it would. Donate, donate now so he can buy a good controller to play. <laughs> hey, I got a good controller. Look at this thing. It's so colourful. It's like just insane. I think it's a Forza controller. I don't play Forza. I just thought it was cool. Oh man, that is so much better, but it is heavy. What's that do to my roll? Okay, hold on. Let me look. Let me just compare rolls for a second. Fat roll. It's the same roll. I've got a fat roll at the moment anyway. Need more endurance. Yeah, need more endurance. Uh, did you do, what's your, what speed is your memory, mate? Th uh, 32, yeah, 3,200. Uh, it's Corsair. It's two, two sticks of 16. I think they're 3,200s. Pretty sure they are. I bought them fairly recently because I had some corrupt RAM. So I made sure that they were fast. They were nice and fast. So I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Uh, do you get disappointed with the flat screen games compared to VR games sometimes? Do you get as disappointed with flat screen games compared to VR games? What do you mean? Like, I kind of interpret that as like... Do I hold VR games and flat screen games to the same standard almost is what you're asking. Like, flat screen games disappoint me. If it's something I'm really excited for and then I get it and it's, it's, it's poo, it will disappoint me the same amount as a VR game. Um, I don't typically compare VR games and flat screen games to each other because I don't think they're... I said, I said this yesterday. I don't think they're warring factions. I think they're two sides of the same coin. I think they have to coexist. You know, like, I think... VR industry is trying to convert flat screen gamers to also enjoy VR games and um, I think it benefits the VR industry if more VR devs and VR players also play flat screen games because then we can start to bring ideas that are great in flat screen gaming into VR and vice versa so oh no there's a robot um, let me just get rid of the robot I'm getting quite quick at killing the robots it's like a mini game for me I report them and then I murder them check it murdered i murdered the robots um yeah but yeah i hold i hold all games not to the same standard you have there's a lot of things to take into account like most vr games are made by much smaller development teams who are really new into the journey so um they're not going to necessarily have the money or the, or the experience to make things that are, that are the same quality as a lot of flat screen games That's why I really, really like um... Speckle Snout Bear. Amazing name, Beardo. Hello, Speckle Snout Snare. <laughs> Paradise Decay. Stop trying to be a bot. Um... Mythicus four twenty, four twenty. I love it. Blaze it, blaze it all day long. Beardo, thank you, welcome. Uh, wow, Beardo, you're famous too with a naughty chat, crazy stuff. <laughs> Whack a bot. Uh, my guy, love your content so much. Would love to play some games with you sometime, dude. I, I have been considering. It's one of those things that, again, I think I'll probably do it when I'm, if I ever get to the point where I can do this full time, because it is a big commitment. I want to have, I want to create a Discord, um, but then I'd need mods for it and I need people to look after it, because I want to be able to arrange um, times where I can play games with people that watch my stuff, because that would be cool, and I'd love to do kind of like just nights where we can just get together and hang and, and shoot the shit and literally shoot shit, and I think that'd be great. So yeah, it's a, it's a plan I have. I have a lot of plans in my head. 
I just I just don't know how long it will take me to realise them. This is gorgeous. Oh my god. This is amazing. I feel like a, a, a kid in Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Uh, DP, what VR headset should I get? Right now, I'd probably say the standard, the, the thing that's probably going to give you the biggest bang for your buck and will cost you the least is a Quest 2. You know, the specs on that thing are good. If you hook it up to a PC, it does PC gaming really well. It can do it wirelessly as well with Air Link. Um, and it has a library of unique games that you can only get on the Quest because, love them or hate them, Meta are pumping money into VR right now. So you're getting stuff like Among Us VR, you're getting San Andreas, Resident Evil. You know, it's there, there aren't many other VR companies that are really putting up much of a fight. Like, Vive, Vive are going in a very different direction. They're going into a very kind of social, fitnessy style, lifestyle kind of direction, which is fine. It's not gaming, and I'm, I'm all about gaming. And then you've got Index, which is amazing, but my word, is it expensive? Um, and that's kind of like your, it's more of your, like your hobbyist. If you're a hobbyist for VR and you and you're, you want like the most incredible piece of tech, I think that's where you would go. But if you're just getting into it and you're new and you and you want to start, it's the Quest because it's the least monetary investment, but you're still going to get a solid product that works both standalone and in conjunction with your PC. I use my Quest more than I use anything else. I used to use my Rift all the time. My Rift's kind of just like. Oh, not any runes. My rift doesn't really get used much now. It's very rare. Playing whilst watching. Uh, first boss. First boss is kicking your ass, dude. Um, if you can find Merkwater Caves, there's an item in there that a seller, as a as a, a vendor in the caves, that sells an item that helps you with the first boss. It's a reusable item. Costs five thousand runes to buy, but it pins the boss down and holds the boss in place for a few seconds. At a time. Well worth finding. Uh, Beard Avenger, can you send your Discord info? I'll gladly help you moderate stuff as well. I'm a mod admin for DLC. Oh, awesome. I, I haven't actually set it up yet. <laughs> um, so I don't have anything going right now. But I will. I'm going to look into it. Because it's something I think that would really help. Just arrange events. And it will be easier to do giveaways. Oh, check this out. I'm going to do an amazing acrobatic jump. All right. Nope. Cocked it, cocked it, cocked it. Death. Death. Ah, oh, well, I think I can make that jump. I wanted to do like a little. Hey! Didn't quite work that way, though. Uh, Index is also behind on tech now. Yeah, yeah. Donate now, says poor man can get more VR games. Oh, dude, I have so many VR games, it's ridiculous. Was, oh, VR games I've not even played. It's just it's crazy at this point. Yeah, Index is behind on tech. Um, Omelie, PSVR 2 looking real good. Real good. And they're going to have just, you know, the money and the power of Sony to make or to get good games. So we're going to see some great stuff. All right, jump. Uh, he's done it. Only problem is I think I need to go back that same way. <laughs> hey, I know it was a typo, but can we please refer to Ben as Bredo from now on? Bredo. Stacking the carbs, eating all the bread. Just living my best life. Bredo... <laughs> Bredo Benjo. I love it. That doesn't count. Yeah, that death doesn't count. That was ridiculous. If you fall down a hole, it doesn't count. Should I get the 128 gig or the 256? Sorry for the questions. Never, never apologize for questions. That's why I love live streams, so I can answer questions. Um, 128 gig is plenty. I think the only thing that, that they did wrong with uh, Quest was offering a 64 gigabyte version. That's the first one I bought. And that thing, I loved it and it served the purpose, but like, Certain games don't fit on that now, even if it's empty. So, like Medal of Honor, for example, even if the headset's empty, it's like the only game you can have on there. I have a friend who's got a 64 gig, and he needed to delete all his games just to have that one game. So, yeah, 128 gig is fine. Um, there's no technical advantage. The specs are the same. The thing is the same. 
It's just how many games you're going to have on there at any one time. So yeah, 128 gig will work absolutely fine for you. You might just do a little bit more storage management than you'd need to on a 256. Uh, yeah, man, I, I still dig getting your Discord info so I can friend you, play perhaps sometimes. I really enjoy watching your vids, man. You crack me up so much. <laughs> Thank you, man. I actually don't know what it is. I think my Discord is hashtag Beardo Benjo. Nine. Nine. Nine? Nine two nine eight? Nine two four eight? Nine two four eight? Nine two nine eight? It's something. It's something. Uh, it's Benjo hash nine nine seven nine. That is my Discord. Feel free to add me. I mean, I'm, I'm, some, I'm not always active on there. I can't always chat. A lot of the time I might be on Discord, but I'm at work. And I do get a lot of messages from, like, devs and stuff. So it is hard to respond, but... If I can make a Discord at some point, that's when I'll be able to no! look after it and uh, respond to people. Come on! <sighs> oh, it's that little flurry of attacks. Not nice. Oh, I missed a question about Vorpex then. It just jumped up a little bit ahead of me. Um, feel free to chuck that question back in the chat and I'll catch it. I'll keep my eye on it and I'll see it come back around. I just saw the word Vorpex and it just disappeared. 128 gig should do the trick. Yeah, honestly, it should be. A butter or something. I got the 64 gig lol. Still have it, but I play PC VR. Yeah, absolutely fine for PC VR. It, absolutely fine for anything. I still have mine. Um... It's basically like for us now. It's a um, it's like a Beat Saber headset. We just have Beat Saber on it. What was the point in coming up here? No point really, is there? I've got the two fifty fifty gig Quest two just to be safe. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of like that. I'm like just get the big one, and then I won't have to worry about it. Uh. Okay, this feels wrong. There's an item down there. This feels wrong, but it also feels like one of those Dark Souls things that's actually right. Like, if I jump on this thing, I can go around, get on that roof, and go and get that item over there. I'm going to be lost. I won't be anywhere near where I'm supposed to be, but... It's the Dark Souls way, isn't it? You just you have to just go for a wander, see what happens. Oh, pit. oh no, I'm alright, I'm alright. What is that? Ah. Oh. There's like a proper bird there. Okay. If I go that way. Oh man, where do I go? If I go left, I've got to fight the bird. If I go right, it looks like I'm trapped. Has to be a way out of there. I'm going to go left. I'm going to go left. Oh my god, look at that thing. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, moves so fast. Oh! Oh! Right, okay, it's not tough though. Jesus. Ooh, it is tough. Stupid unicorn bird. Sadness. Dozing cross. Oh, flipping emote. That was not worth it. 
That was not worth the, the, the excursion I've gone on. Uh, Sean B, you don't need Vorpex. This game is VR, su VR support, I'm pretty sure. Which game? Get item. Get item. No VR support for this game yet. No. Grab its chains? I wish I could grab its chains. I don't think that's an option. It would be amazing if I could just grab them and pull its legs down. Um, blah, blah, blah. Should have walked back up. I don't think I could. Uh, I don't think I could. Fog gate down there. This is the thing that always gets me with any like FromSoft game. It's just so um, oh, so many ways you can go. It's so daunting. Try down, then hidden path ahead. Oh, I don't want to go down there. Ah, okay. Here we go. We got both. We got both. Stones, stones in it. No one cares about stones. Got the wrong cave. Found the one full of Dark Souls 3 rats. Yeah, there's a couple of caves that way. But you, you'll... The character you're, you're trying to find is a familiar character. You'll know him if you've played the other Souls games or anything by FromSoft. Don't kill him. Make friends. And then he'll set up shop. And then you can buy an item. Elden Bird. Don't... <laughs> Donate now this guy to support the birds which fell during his... Yeah, I'm going to support... Like, make, make like a bird sanctuary. In honour of all the birds I've been murdering. I have murdered a lot of birds today. I can get up there. There was a wood support to walk across. See, he told you. Yeah, I believe you. I believe you. Hello, Beardo. I have heard Green Health Quest will use Space Warp. Can you confirm? P.S. Kicking butt on this. Um... I can't confirm. I haven't been told that. I was actually supposed to be in Poland right now playing Green Hell with the devs. Um, I think we were meant to be playing the Quest version. Um, but sadly, we, we decided not to go ahead with the trip. Um, just purely due to everything that's happening in, U in Ukraine right now. And how close Poland is. And it's, it's, an, it's an escalating situation that I don't think anyone truly knows the magnitude of just yet. So... It didn't go ahead um, because there's more important things happening in the world right now. And I think that trip was it's something we can do at a different time. Uh, but yeah, I was supposed to be, I think, going hands-on with the Quest 2 version. But I didn't get a chance to, of course. Hopefully another opportunity will arise soon. Um, the devs have been really understanding. We've had to schedule the, the, we had to reschedule the trip twice now. Another time was due to COVID. Um... But yeah, I'm, I am very excited to check out what they're doing with the Quest version. But I haven't heard it about Space Warp. It would make sense. Purely because of how the PC version was running. Up there. Just check Vorpex. This game has a profile now, but only Z3D so far. I think Reshade has perfect... Oh, Z3D's pretty good, though. Now we just need a first-person mod, and I'm in. I'm in. Uh, King of Hun. I have won zero Dark Souls games, lol. If, have you played any? If you're playing them, you're winning. You know, even if you're losing, you're winning because at least you you found the courage to get stuck in, which is more than oh, eagles, which is more than many people because it is so terrifying. I'm finding so much good shit. Uh, long live the fighters in Ukraine. Yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. There's not much else I can say. It's. Uh... <sighs> War is is not is never something I'll support, and this particular situation is harrowing to say the least. Okay, uh, PD, your Elden Ring video did look great. Reshade worked really well. Yeah, I watched it yesterday. Very 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 good. Looked great. You need to get better at the game though, PD. Yeah, you let me down. Your skills are a little rusty. Um, so yeah, come to me if you need some tips. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I think I have to go down. Ah! But you can fall quite a long way without taking damage in this one. Man, I'm so sidetracked from where I'm supposed to be. Like I've, I'm, I'm lost. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. What is this castle? This castle is so big. A uh, little dead man down there. Let's kill these people over here. What time is it? Nine. All right. Okay. How long have we been going? Hour and ten. Hour and ten. Two hours and ten. That guy looks big, doesn't he? 
Reckon I can get a backstab on that big guy before the little guy figures it out. Yep. He's pissed. I'm running low on the heels. That's not where I want to be. Man, this guy's moody. Oh! Bad move, buddy. Bad move. Oh! And again, you're an idiot. Easy. 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 <laughs> Paris K, I'm a pro hashtag pro gamer noob. You can't be both. You're one or the other. Unless you're a professional noob. Then that's just as impressive as being a professional gamer. It takes effort to be a noob. Okay. Whew, this is overwhelming, man. This is so big. Hold on. No. Oh, hello. Ah. Oh, no, that sucks. Oh, God, I really need some, um, really need some heals. Uh, you'll notice as well, every now and then I get a big chunk of health back. It's because I've got a talisman that gives me health back whenever I land a critical hit. It's really helpful, actually. You just get big chunks of health every now and then that are really, really good. Uh, Mythicus 2040? Uh, 2040? 420. Uh, what class did you start out with? I started out with the uh, Vagabond. Um, I usually always go sword and board to start with, and it looked like the best one for that. Just love a bit of shield and sh sword and shield action. And then I think when I do another playthrough after I get this one done, I'm going to go with a bit more of like a kind of a magician. Um, astrologer, I, I like the look of. Someone that can cast some funky spells. I can go down there. Zero, zero deaths, baby. That's it. Zero deaths. I think I've had a couple of... No! Piss. I've had a couple of instances where I've just fallen off something like that and died. Oh, I'm in the shit now. I'm in the shit now. Oh, no. Maybe I'm not. I'm behind the shit. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, shit. Flip. Run. Upstairs. Shit. Keep running. Ding -ling -ling -ling. Shit. Shit. Protect me. Protect me, friends. Okay, right. Ghosty boys. You need to come with me. We're going on a quest. Come on. Come on. Are they coming? They need to hurry up and come downstairs. What is that over there? Don't go near that. Alright, come on. It's the assault on the castle. Yeah, that's right. He's got the right idea. Behind the machine guns. Don't ring the bell! God, my health situation is really bad. Some more dudes over there. Come on. Oh. Oh. One more, one ghost friend still alive. Two for one. Right, more of here. This feels like I've come at this area in the perfect direction. 
because they're all manning, like, guns, and they're all pointing this way. What the hell would have happened if I walked out of that door? I would have been very dead. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Biggity bam, hey Benjo, does pineapple belong on a pizza? Yes. Yes, it does. Uh, pizza, with a bit of pineapple, with a bit of ham, and a bit of chicken. Hmm, I know, right? Those three things, get yourself some barbecue sauce, dip the crust into, you're having a good time. You're having, it's party time for you. Uh, Mythicus, samurai for me, I'm going to try and mix a bit of magic in there. Yeah, a friend of mine that I've been playing alongside, he went he went samurai because he wanted the game to feel like Sekiro. Um, and he's having a really good time with it, so yeah, yeah. Samurai seemed like a really good class to go with. Beardo and the Ghostly Boys, new album coming soon. It is, it's going to be packed, chock, chock a block full of hits. Honestly, I've done this completely by accident, but I've, I've approached this area in the best possible way, because I'm behind all the enemies. Look at it, there's so many of them. That's not good. Go, ghosty boy. Shoot them with a the gun. Doesn't work. He killed him! Come on. Ugh. Damn. Yeah, I would have come up here. Ugh. Nah. I've got no heals, so I need to be careful. Uh, do do this, and has anyone else noticed a camera reset on PS5? I pointed down to see further ahead, and as I walk forward, it slowly levels out. Turned all the auto camera stuff off, and it still happens. That's weird. That's really weird. I, I, I've not played. I've got a PS5 copy because I was originally going to play it on PS5, but it was super cheap on CD keys, so I got a PC copy because I wanted to play it alongside some friends. Um, but yeah, I will play the PS5 version at some point because I want that kind of couch experience where I can sit down and just chill out on a sofa. Basically, lay down. Um, it's not quite the same playing on PC. Pineapple ham, bacon, and hot sauce. God, that sounds good. Do you mind if I DM you a YouTube video? Depends what it is. If it's like... I don't know. If it's like 400 ways to strangle a cat, I don't want to see it. That's horrible. If it's 400 ways to make the perfect pizza, I might watch it. Uh... I don't believe that f that further should ever be warm or hot. Oh, pineapple. I don't believe that pineapple. Wait. I don't believe that further should be ever warm or hot. Cold fruit only. Don't believe that fruit should be cold or hot. Uh... Just gone solo. Irreconcilable differences. They all died. Really? Dude, dude, this and happened in Dark Souls 2 as well. I like Dark Souls 2. The game got a bad rep. People didn't like it. I liked it. I thought it was very different. Black Sheep of the family, definitely. But yeah, I liked it for what it was. Um, I could really do with a... <gasps> really do with it with a, with a... Ah! No! Bonfire. Because I really, really, really need to heal. And I've got no heals. I'm so surprised I've lasted this long without any heals. I love grilled spicy pineapple salsa. Oh my god, that sounds so good. I just read the guys who are making the Bloodborne first person one working on an Elden Ring one. Shut up. That's amazing. I didn't even know there was a Bloodborne first person mod, but I haven't paid much attention to the Bloodborne mods recently because you have to play them on PS4. I want Bloodborne to come to PC, much like 90% of the population. One day it will, and we can play the game in more than 30. Uh, lean steak, when is this in VR? Oh my god, I don't know. Maybe one day. Oh! Oh no! I can't kill that. Not with no health. That looks like the boss from the very start of the game. The one that kills you. Okay, right. We, we can't, we can't kill that. I can't kill it. I've got no heals. There's no point in going in there. So I need to find a. I need to find a. I need to find a bonfire. I need to find one. 
My phone doesn't want me to type the word fruit. Yeah, I couldn't quite figure out. I thought you were saying fruit, but I wasn't 100% sure. Oh! <sighs> Pineapple on pizza is fine, considering most people who hate don't eat fruit or vaggies. Veggies. You must mean veggies. I don't know what a vaggie is. It's dangerously sexual. Um, yeah, I like pineapple on pizza, man. I like it hot, I like it cold. I don't mind. Sit back down. Ooh. Prophecy painting. Okay. So these paintings are really cool in this game. Um, when you find them, it depicts somewhere that you've probably already seen. I actually think I know where that is. And you have to go to the location that the picture is depicting after examining it and interacting with it. And then there'll be a painter there. And if you interact with them, then you'll get a piece of gear. I've done one so far and it gave me like a beetle helmet, which is awful. The item's terrible, but uh, it's still cool. At the end, it's a VR comedy series. Also, you're making me want to play this some more. Dude, this is the only thing anyone should be playing this weekend. Okay, that dude there is a monstrosity. I feel like I just need to run past him. He's coming. Sorry, man. I know you want to fight. I can't fight you, though. I don't have the capacity right now. Sometimes you have to know when to run away. Now is one of those times. Mushroom, mushroom. Oh! Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Hold on. Grab an item quick. Oh. I could spend 400 hours in this castle. It feels so big. I feel like I've barely scratched the surface. It's ridiculous. What do we vote? Shall I go back and try and kill that thing with all the arms? Should I do that? Endurance rather than strength, I think, right now. Vaggy Bond or Vaggy Bond. I'm not sure. Well, it's official. You have made this game look amazingly fun, and I think I'm going to order it right now. Do it! Lee's sake, I'm playing Abe's Exodus. You're playing a very good game, then, because Abe's Exodus is one of the very best games. I used to love that when I was younger. I haven't played it in years. Have not played it in years. Right. See if I can squeeze another level out. Down, 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 down. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can get another level. For sure. Down, 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 down. Go down the elevator again. You'll be fine. No, I'm all right, mate. I'm not doing it. Plus, that elevator's far away. I'm nowhere near that. A bit more HP, I think. Yeah, take an extra hit. Cool, right. Let's go for Spider-Man. Let's see if we can kill Spider-Man. Oh, they're all back. Should I kill this guy first? Dog's awake. Right. Bugger! Ooh, okay. Alright, he's he's no he's he's no joke. He's no joke. I've heard the castle is huge. Yeah, honestly, mate. The, the castle is massive. Um, I came in it from what I thought was the normal angle. And, like, quite quickly, I lost track of where I was going. I ended up on some rooftops. And now I've ended up here. I, I, don't, I don't think there's, like, one logical path through the castle. So to explore it all, I think you probably have to take a couple of runs at it. Because it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's huge. Um, and when you look at the map... Like, this is the best you've got. There's not a lot of detail on that. Like, you, you can't clearly see where you've been and where you haven't. Mm. 
it will take me a long time to figure out exactly. Right. Okay, I need to get rid of the dog, 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 dog. No! No! Bugger. Oh, he killed the dog. I thought that was his dog. Maybe he didn't love his dog. Whoa! I need this guy to break open the statue. Hit this, hit this. Hit this. Mmm, it's not working. Hit this. Oh, not me. Come on, sausage. Don't do this. We could be friends. We can't be friends now. Not now. Shit! Flaming neck. He's dead, but that didn't really do much. I think he's probably what you'd use to break this open, but he needs to land an attack, like, bang on there. Um, yeah, okay. Let's try, let's try and do the spider. Let's do the spider. That feels like a more important thing. And then I can always teleport back to this afterwards, because I don't want to run past all the gunners two times. That seems insane. Make a run for it. Yeah, I think we're going to... Wait, they can hit each other. Yeah, they can hit each other. Uh, is 420 legal in Britain? Sorry, just catching up with chat. Uh, is 420 legal in Britain? No. No. Still illegal to do any kind of 420ing in the UK. Which is odd to me because you'd think they'd want to, you know, legalise it and then tax it. They'd make all kinds of lovely money and they love money, trust me. Right, run, run. We run. We're running. We're running. We're stuck. We're running. We're running. We're running. We're running. Oh, I'm going to get blasted. Shit, 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 shit. I'm in. He's got cool eyes. Okay. Oh, I'm in. Try and kill Spider Man now. Alley up. Oh, I don't think this is going to be easy. I think this is maybe, it might even be doable. Okay. Limber up. Pillars. Use the pillars. No robots. Why would you come back at this exact moment in time? Because now I might die. Stupid robots. You stupid porn robots as well. Worst kind of robot, porn robots. Uh, remove. Boop. Right. I better not be dead by the time I go back. Nah, I'm not good. Oh. He knows I'm here. Come on, Spider-Man. So many, like, different stabs. Oh, fuck. Come on. Right. 
always have to keep pillars in front of me in this thing. Wait for it to do the high stab and I can get a hit then. Come on. Oh! Not that one, this one. Nice. Whoa! Ooh! Pillars on this side of the room? No. Get that item just in case. Oh, oh, interesting. What was that? Okay, kind of like despawned outside the room. Get behind it, get behind it. Oh, got cocky then. I don't like being in this corner. For that exact reason. Come on. Come on. Do that cool attack you do where you up and then down. Do it. Go on. You know you want it. Here he goes. Here he goes. Oh shit. Man, I hate this thing. No heals. Okay, it's kind of stuck here. Oh, I can't target it. Okay. Whoa. No. <sighs> always down to one hit. It's always down to one hit. Get out of the corner. Right, that thing shouldn't spawn back, right? That thing's dead now, yeah? We're not going to see that thing again. Oh my god. Bot is back. Oh, it's back again. Is that another one? A different one to the one I just got? No, it must be a different one. Spider got cocky. You'd be in trouble. You know where it's... Is that squid? Where it's squid is located? If you kill the armed guy, you get his sword and shield. I think that only counts if you kill it at the start of the game, because it's... I think it's that same enemy, but if you kill it, like, in the tutorial, like, right at the start, yeah, it drops its, its sword and shield, which is awesome. Oh, I've got nothing left. I can't fight these guys. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Oh, Jesus. Oh! It's raining men. Hallelujah. It's a rain in men. Amen. Oh, honestly, this castle is just is insane. I I genuinely thought, okay, I could probably I could probably get through this castle area fairly easily. But it's just just overwhelming. It's massive. Oh my god, the bots. It's always the same one. Like I report them and they come back immediately.
YouTube, do better at getting rid of robots. There we go. Oh. All right, I've probably got like 25 minutes left in me, and then I need to stop and compose myself, have a snack, eat. Oh, I can't fight that guy. I've got no health. I've got no bloody health. Doesn't open from this side. Of course it doesn't. Maybe I can just sneakily get into this chest. Yoink. He didn't see me. I guess bots heard Bender is back in Futurama. Yeah, I know, right? But is, Bender's not really back, though, is he? Because it's not... Um... Oh, God, I forgot his name. John DiMaggio? DiMaggio? I think it's DiMaggio. Yeah, he's like he wants more money for the for the role, doesn't he? Like he says they've lowballed him, and he doesn't want to. He's not going to come back and voice Bender. It, it's not Bender if it's not him. So I feel like they have to kind of almost. Whoa, they they kind of have to like bend to his to his will. If they if they get someone else to voice him, it's just not going to be the same. Oh, I really want to go down there, but I feel like I need to get a bit of health back before I try that. Sneak around, sneak around. Let's find some goodies. Let's find some easy health. A couple of critical hits on some enemies. That will get me back to fairly decent health. No. I remember when Mike VR Oasis was streaming and I had to nip out. He had no other mods and he got invaded by sex bots. He was starting to panic. <laughs> Uh, it is frustrating. It's never been a panic for me. It's never been something like I worry about. Like they just exist. They just exist. And as I say, if I streamed more, I would get some mods, uh, and we'd we'd kind of keep it under control. <laughs> Aim for the bushes. <laughs> I love that film so much, man. That scene will never not make me laugh. Um, yeah, if, if I streamed more, I would definitely get. I definitely get some mods. But at the moment, it's like it's, it takes two seconds for me to just kick them out. Horse. But I think if you were playing VR, that's, it's a lot harder to deal with things like that. You need the mods if you're in VR because you can't have your eyes on the chat and you can't just dip out and quickly, you know, you can't just quickly use your mouse to, to remove some people. You need the mods if it's VR, 100%. I've never seen Mike do streams other than with F Reality Podcast. I don't see a lot of the VR guys do streams, actually. But obviously, other, other than GT. GT's streaming every, every five seconds. He loves a stream. Oh, I'm not going to get any more health. That's a big night. He'll batter me. Oh, Might have to just drop down into the, into the dog pit. Into the dog pit. Okay, here we go. How many dogs are down there? One. Two. Two dogs. Two dogs. Two dogs. Jesus Christ. I'm going to die. Yep. <sighs> nope. Chrysalid's Memento. What is that? Not half this stuff is that I pick up. Uh, Mike streamed Half-Life Alex Gnome Challenge. It took him about five hours. Oh, do, is that where you carry the gnome from the start of the game to the end? They, they always put that in the uh, Valve games. Gnome Chomsky. I think it's called Gnome Chomsky. Or oh, that was the achievement. That's what the achievement was called in Left 4 Dead. Can't, I can't quite remember. Wonder how I get up there. So, I'm not sure. Not sure how I get up there. That door's closed from that side. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Noam Chomsky. Okay, I could... Mm, 
Maybe I could jump on the creature and then jump to the other side. It's too far again, like, unless there's some kind of a jumping attack that I don't know about that's going to get me across all these big gaps. I don't think I can make it. Mento is a quest from the woman in Storm Hill Shack. I don't think I've met her. Is it a quest item? She just wants this thing, yeah? She wants me to bring this to her. If so, I'll make it a point to try and find Storm Hill Shack. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Go, 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 go! It was never gonna end well. It was never gonna end well. Is the spider gonna be there now, or is the spider dead? I'd like to hope the spider was dead. Uh, Paradise Cave, can't your mount jump further? Yeah, the mount can jump further, but I can't summon it inside Stormvale Castle. It's not, um, it's not letting me do it. Yeah, horse double jump. I, I thought the same thing when I saw that jump earlier on the castle wall that was a little bit too far to go. But you can't spawn the, the horse in here. It's not letting me. There's only certain places you can spawn the horse and call for the um, support, like the um, the spirits that help you. There's a dung beetle somewhere, I think. I can hear it. Is it a dung beetle? Pop men! <gasps> Pop men! Oh, they're not friendly. Are they friendly? No, nope, not friendly. Bugger me! Hello, lad. Oh! God, these things looked so cool in the trailers. I didn't realise they were enemies, though. That's not fair. I want to be friends with the pot clan. Bugger off, mate. Heal. Oh, big pop a pot. He's pissed. Nope. Ah, now what are you going to do? Oh, you can just come back up the ramp. Flip, you know. Right, let's kill all his children first. Can you try the claws? Ah! Yeah, I need to try them claws, don't I? I don't think the out the damage output on them is very high. Bugger off, pot boy. Two good items in there. Two purple, like, tier. I think the purple ones with the purple glow, they're a bit better. They're, like, cool shit. Oh. Oh. That's cool. They explode into raspberry jam. That ain't nice. Which one's Bill and which one's Ben? Bill and Ben, the flower pot men. I used to watch them all the time. Kind of creepy, like, now, looking back on it. I have a creepy vibe to Bill and Ben. All kids' shows from that era had a, kind of a creepy vibe. And then even some that were a bit newer, like uh, Rosie and Jim. Creepy. Turn short, you got to take the doggos out. Keep streaming. I, I can't keep going. I've probably got about 15 minutes left in me, man. So if I'm not here when you come back, uh, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it, man. I need to stop, because I've got... A, I gotta eat something. Ooh, Stormcaller. Another another thing there. Alright, let's get that item and let's this could be another boss area because there's another there's another bonfire, like another resting place just there. No. It's never it's never an illusory wall. Jumping required ahead. Oh yeah. And then um, into there. Where am I now?
Okay. Oh, God, I guess I'm getting, getting swept up in where to go again. I think there could be a boss down there, but... This is just too intriguing to walk away from. Far too intriguing. Oh, God. It's too big. No, let's go the other way. Let's go the other way. VR Pox stars off to bed. See you later, everyone. Take care, man. Have a good sleep. Sweet dreams. And uh, I will catch you soon. Did you finish all Dark Souls games and Bloodborne? Yeah, so I've done all the Dark Souls. Done Bloodborne. Um, done Demon Souls. Uh, Demon Souls was my first one back on PS3. When it came out, I read a review in a magazine that said, This is the hardest game ever. And I had like a week off work, so I went and bought a copy. And I just fell in love with it. And I've bought every one since. So yeah, I've done Demon Souls. Done Dark Souls. Done Dark Souls 2. Done Dark Souls 3. Done Bloodborne. Haven't completed Sekiro. Sekiro is probably the only one that kind of didn't fully gel with me. I got right basically to the end. And uh, and then just put it down. Just didn't pick it back up. I should have just persevered then and there. Because I was in the mood to play it and I had the muscle memory. But uh, yeah, no, I just I just stopped playing it. Alright, should we see if this is a boss before I, before I call it a night? Let's see if we've got a boss in here, shall we? This sure looks like a boss. This is a boss. Mighty dragon. Thou art a true born heir. Lend me thy strength, O kindred. Deliver me unto greater heights. Your six fingers. me friends kill him kill him for me right godric the grafted oh holy shit jesus what is that attack Good lord. Alright, that didn't, that didn't go particularly well. Smack, smack. Okay. Too early. Nah. Ooh. Hmm. What in the general grievous is this? Okay, we have one more go at that. That's insane. I tend to love games with pet helpers, so loving the fact that you have these NPC... Yeah, I love these little NPC helpers. Really cool. Really, really cool. I'm surprised that there's not a... Um... Surprised there's not like an NPC that you can summon to help with this fight. There's usually like an NPC nearby. Big fights like this. Tucked away in a corner somewhere. No, it's just me and them. Alright. Let's try the wolves. I think he's been to the head shrink. He's got a tiny, tiny little head. But he's got many arms. And he just flips himself around like crazy. This is going to be a lot of like learning his moveset, I think.
messes up the um, the summons. Whoa, breaks your shield as well. AoE, nice. Whoa! Alright, he's got some fancy tricks and he's up, up his sleeve. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Timed that roll wrong. I think I can do him. I mean, I don't know if he's got a second phase. I feel like I can do him. Ugh. Jack, arc that Jack. Thanks for streaming this just for me. No worries. I know you wanted it, so I thought, hey, I'll give it to you. Uh, why don't you try the other ashes? Yeah. Oh, what is in the... Um... Yeah, I mean, I don't have a lot of other ashes. Um, I've currently got... Uh, sorry. So ashes wise, yeah. So I've got this nobleman who's not great. I've got the jellyfish, uh, and I've got. I think that the wolves are probably the best I've got currently. I think I can do him. It's a lot about patience and just learning his attack patterns. I can get the occasional big hit in. Um. Yeah. I'm assuming someone who made the game has a messed up sleep paralysis demon. Yeah, I know, right? I, I, th I think I can do him. I think it's a lot to do with patience. Just waiting for the right moments. You can get an attack off there. Back. That sucks. That thing's really heavy. Alright. Block both of those. Oh, just a little bit out of reach. Sword art skills, yeah, yeah. Sword art skills are good. I feel like I could just chip away at him with like basic attacks. Oh. What's he gonna do here? I think he's very doable. 
It might take me a few times to figure it out. But. Oh, nasty. Oh, nasty, 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 nasty. That was my fault. I don't know why I stayed so close to him then. Oh! If you're patient, ooh, and you wait for his jumping attacks, you could just work him away with just like one heavy hit every now and then. It'll be a long fight. But you could do it. I don't like what he's doing now. Oh! Why has he still got that wind around him? Use your wind. Trapped wind. This sucks. This attack sucks. Phase two. He's doing something. What was that? Chop his own arm off. He sticks out on his arm, doesn't he? Fire. Why fire? Oh my god. Oh my god. What's the solution there? Jump it? Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. So he's going to need... You're going to need some fire. I've actually got a... Uh, like a trinket. Which gives me more fire defense. And then there's an item you can craft. Which gives you more fire uh, defense as well. He's going to need all of that. Because that second phase is nasty. But it'll be just a case of just learning it. Playing it over and over again. And uh, figuring it out. As you go along, uh, I'm going to leave it here because it is 10 o'clock now. I've been doing it for three hours. Three hours is usually my like kind of sweet spot for, for streaming because I start to get tired um, and I start to be quiet. And, yeah, you know, I don't want to be quiet. I want to engage and chat. And uh, So, yeah, I'm probably going to call it here. But, as always, thank you so much for everyone who's stopped by. Everyone that donated money, that was crazy. I've not experienced that before, so... Thank you. It's bonkers. You're going to pay for me to have some takeaways this weekend. Um, yeah, thank you for coming by. Anyone who's still here, 
thank you. It means the world to me. I might do another stream tomorrow night because I'm home alone this weekend. I'm loving this game, so I might play again tomorrow night. I might play a bit off stream, so I might not be picking up from this exact point, but I just it's just nice to kind of hang out and just play some games and chat to some people. So yeah, I may be back tomorrow. I might not. I'll put it on Twitter. I'll put it on my community page. And yeah, thanks very much for dropping by. I hope you all have an amazing night. And uh, yeah, I will see you all very soon. And that's the weird bit where I have to try and figure out how to end the stream. I always forget how to end the stream. It's, it's a pain in the bum. Uh, thank you so much. I'll see you very soon. And uh, take care of yourselves. See you later, guys. Peace out.